All right, you got the record button going, brother, on November 13th. Aloha. Saturday, 2021. What's happening? Well, we just had a great uh, Halloween. Silver Surfer Black. I like the shirt. Thank you. I dig like it. Support, I dig my, it. support my Marvel fixation. <laughs> So what's new? What's, what's, what's happening, man? Uh, we got um, some some stuff that we got to discuss today. Right? Well, first of all, we got to say welcome to The, the Riff. Riff. Oh, man. It's some good That's morning. happiness, man. That is. And um, let's see. We're, we're doing about um, five Richters here on the audio scale, which is good. So I have the... Uh, I have the honor to... Oh, the honor. Okay. The honor to... I'm going to honor myself to honor this wonderful woman uh, who lives on Maui, uh, the, the Valley Isle, the best island in Hawaii, the 808 state. So we have Miss Serena Garrett's here, and she is a holistic wellness coach. We want to welcome her. Look at this, everybody. You see it? Aloha, okay. Serena. Aloha, Aloha, Serena. Thank you so Thank much you. for coming. Good morning. Good morning. Look at all Thank this Thank you for being toys. on the show. I know. Yes. Yes. Thank you for having me. Oh, I'm so wow. excited to be here. So, um, just for starters, man, full moon lunar eclipse. And you've been, you did something on 11-11. I did. Yeah. T- tell us about it. Uh, it was my first aroma sound healing experience. And it was held at a beautiful venue uh, in Lahaina. And I brought aromatherapy and sound bowl, crystal sound bowl healing to the community there. And it was a small group. It was absolutely amazing. And uh, just, yeah. You know, when you, uh, I'm reading this flyer, you said restore, receive, reset. That is, uh, that's what everybody needs at, uh, at this point. I mean, after all the pandemic or whatever was going on in the world. But yeah, a But that's what people sound, don't I mean, do. Yeah. That's what exactly. people don't do. They yes. need it, but they don't do it. Right. And that's what I wanted to offer yes. was just a little space where people could drop in yeah. and come in and relax, restore, reset, recharge, and be, you know, have an energetic cleansing and have you know, a new a new fresh outlook when that, they leave. That sounds like a, a great event. Thank you. Yeah, I, I kicked, we just kicked it off uh, 11, on the 11 uh, Thursday right? was the first one, and I'm yeah. going to be doing it weekly in December on Thursdays from 6 to 7. Okay, guys, yeah. we got to get that up on the screen, <laughs> and I will put it up. Thank so you. That's, um, this flyer is only for a special event that's next Friday, but okay. I will be providing you later with the other flyer. Great. Yeah. Um, I haven't created it. Yeah, but <laughs> just the info you, that you, you spoke, Ms. Long. Sure. Thank Our, you. This this yeah. event, which is um, next Friday, is the same thing, but with an additional hour added on, mm. where we'll transition into movement and then dance. Is that open to the public? Yes, it is. Okay. It very much. Bring your yoga, yoga mat, water, and stuff. Is there a limitation in how many people? Like, are the doors going to close once you hit like a ten thousand? <laughs> <laughs> well, honestly, I have. I can only have eighteen okay. oh, that's at right. a time. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm going to do it every week as okay. well. The, that's the, good. The though. one hour one will be every week. This mm. is a special event I'll be doing on full moons. So it has the second hour added on with the dance, right? Oh. So the one that's every Thursday from 6 to 7, I can fit about 18 people, mm. and I require a pre-registration for that so that it's not a bunch of people showing up at right. the door and then not able to get in. I don't want anybody to be disappointed. Sure, and you want everybody to have opportunity. Exactly. The ones who you haven't been, you know, you're going to get guys want to go every single time, but, hey, right. you know, you got to give every, the other people a chance. Exactly. You know, until you can build it up to where they can be. 100 or more at one time exactly but, and that's or five days a week yeah you know cool yeah at five five different locations i i, I <laughs> you know this kind of stuff is um you know o- over the years i was growing up you know people are you know they, they had their own labels on certain things like ah that's kind of too eastern that's kind of too uh hokey or what you know it, whether it was 18 19 20 uh, 30 years old and like what what i i like that kind of stuff you know, everybody is different. You know, um, some people go to church, which is fine, and some people like to have church uh, in the valley or on the beach. So everybody has their own spirituality, own way of rooting themselves, being stable on the beach or in the mountains or, you know, in your own house, in your own temple. You know, so absolutely. What, what's your what's your uh, take on that? Like having um, a surrounding or like a den or a nook where you can set up a temple so you can be all in your, you know, your calm self, your calming self, and, of course, with all these incredible things that you do. Uh, 
what you would what would you recommend for me and brother Arlie? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, well that's the whole the whole thing. I got a lot to recommend. Um, first thing is a solid morning routine, because okay. you can be if you are at peace within yourself and you feel connected and on on point in your own self, you can be anywhere. You can be sitting at a busy airport in the middle of a pandemic waiting for a flight that you missed mm -hmm. and you can still be at peace and know that sense of home if you cultivate that within yourself that's it, the that's the rub right there yeah that's the trick yes. of all like, tricks. Yeah, like every, it's so nice to create a home sanctuary space, right? right? And um, I had one, and I've been looking for a new one for six months, but because of the market on the island, yeah. I haven't been able to find a place to live. Ooh. So my home sanctuary has been mostly disassembled, and I don't have a new one yet. So um, so these events that you have, where is this? Uh, currently, this, this is in Lahaina, kay. although I'm open to doing more events all over the island. Uh, this is just a particularly wonderful venue. It's my friend's production studio, Fuzzbox Productions. Ooh, I've and been there. Nice. Yeah, yes, yeah, where it's nice. at. Yeah. yeah, it's in the um, the the other side, the big side, okay. uh, where they also do dance classes. And so it's a big, beautiful, high ceilinged open room uh, that's climatized. And you walk in, it's beautiful lighting. I've got um, aromatherapy, Young Living essential oils in the different diffusers. We talk more about the frequency yeah. effect and the healing effect of that. Um, but this is more than just sound healing; it's aroma healing as well, because the essential oils all have their own specific frequencies of healing. You're sell telling me that. Yeah. Though. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. having that along with the sound healing and then a little bit of guided meditation as well, uh, it's just a, it's an amazing experience. And so all you need is a yoga mat, a little sweater or a blanket, a bottle of water, and you're good. Wow, that is incredible. Let me tell you, yeah. out of the 12 people that were there this uh -huh. last time, yeah. five of them had never experienced the sound healing before. They had no idea what they were there for. They had probably meditated before, uh -huh. but they had never experienced anything like this. And every single person shared with me afterwards that they had a different experience. Yeah. Some of them just felt better. Some people, uh, one man said he had the experience of going back to um, the forest that he grew up uh, as a child hunting with his father and he was going back into that beautiful forest where he used to go by the creek and find his peace wow. um, <clears throat> another woman was it sharing affects, with it me affects everybody everybody and it, yeah, yeah and it, yeah. yes because it's it's frequency healing yeah. you know so it's it, it, it aligns you and allows you to unwind things that don't serve you anymore and so different memories may come up um, or you may just like my one friend had an experience of that she was just something was being pulled out of the top of her head and, and it felt good you know something needed to be pulled out <laughs> was coming out so it's it's kind of mysterious it's very uh very spiritual and woo woo and all of that and i just want to say for the record too um i mean i will call myself if i'm going to give myself any label it's going to be a universal spiritualist I i'm like not, that. I'm I not like religious that. i like I've, that. I've done religion i've done multiple like religions that. and i did not find god or love in them um <laughs> no offense to any religion my just my particular path i like that word um took me to a place of, of a, a central a central place you know and um, I very much um, wish to share that that peace and serenity with people and that's sort of the crux of of why I'm doing the sound healing Arlie you know about aromatherapy right or you um, I'm not a I'm yeah. not a practitioner of it yeah. um, but I know I've heard about it and right. you smelled some stuff before my, my my experiences was here smell this <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Here, smell that one. This is good for yeah. whatever. And it's like, okay, cool. I, I dig it. This you know? was uh, um, years but, ago. This was years about, ago that um, yeah. I was falling asleep mm -hmm. uh, driving. Oh, right. Yeah, so you told me about um, that. Yeah, it's from mm -hmm. another job. So uh, this one uh, nutritionist said, Brian, you ever tried uh, smelling uh, spearmint, mint, what have you? I said, no. What is that? So just, just sniff it when you get tired and he's just going to zap you. And yeah, I stayed up. And I didn't crash again because it was so bad where uh, I was going to, like, hit a pole or, like, hit a yeah, tree. I yeah. mean, I, there was so many times I could have just crashed. Well, but that's good that you had it that. It saved me. Well, and, guess what? Yeah. I brought you guys peppermint inhalers <laughs> wow. for your pockets. Yeah, so this oh, is just, wow. you just, it's got a little glass tube inside with a cotton wick, and I put some peppermint That's essential classy. oil on it. Yeah, just pop this in your car or your pocket. Oh, thank and you. And then just like sniff it anytime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sniff it whenever you want to wake up your brain. Now, this is peppermint. 
pure like essential it. oil from Young Living. Mm. And when you're ready, I'll give you like the short talk on why what essentials are and why Young Living. When you're ready for that, you, you know what? Um, peppermint. Uh, I drink a lot of peppermint tea. Oh, I love peppermint to soothe my my sore tummy if mm-hmm. I eat too much greasy foods or yeah. something. So now, how do you do that? You just, just smell it, man. Just stick it near your nose and mm. smell it. Now, what what the so other than um, I'm really like that um, things that you can find and grow you can use for um, making yourself feel, feel better mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. stuff so how much hours and years did you take to like gather all this information on knowing what I mean I, okay. you can look in a book and say okay sure. peppermint's good for this garlic yeah. is right, good for right. that but you yeah. actually use it and you have to and investigate pra- and, yeah. and yeah. practice with it yeah. and, and, and see so when, yeah. did, when did this journey start you know <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm 48. Okay. Uh, it started when I was no, 15. You're 25. Thank you. It started <laughs> when I was. It's the frankincense. <laughs> um, it started. It's actually the clean living lifestyle. It started when I was uh, 15. 15. Yeah, with patchouli oil. Okay, no, no. What? No, I hear that all the time. Yeah, and it's yep. um, patchouli well, is a shrub. Okay. That's been grown for centuries yeah. all over the world. Actually, you can find it in lots of different countries. Okay. And um, They make oil out of it. Yeah, they distill the leaves, steam distill the leaves yeah. of the plant. Yeah. And that gives you the essential oil of the plant. Um, patchouli has been used for centuries in many cultures as um, a grounding agent, like for, for energetic grounding yourself and also for bringing um, affluence or prosperity. There's multi- evidence in ancient writings of multiple cultures using patchouli to attract wealth and attract um, also to, to be, it's a sensual smell. So what, what do you what do you do? You rub it all over your body? Like I, I actually like to put patchouli on my feet because it helps me feel grounded. I also love the way it smells, so I, pu- I wear it as a perfume. Okay. Yeah. But is let me tell you more well, real quick. Well, I don't know. Oh, real, oh. real question. Oh, okay, okay. So people usually make oil for, like, cooking, cooking yeah. oil yeah, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and uh, like to eat. Yeah. Okay, so so you put it on your feet and go ahead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hear open. I'm an Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. if I, if I start to go like this, you yeah. have to sh- uh, pull me back in. Oh, yeah. um, but let me go backwards um, and talk first about when I was 19 and I started getting really into studying what essential oils were okay. and how to use them and all of that. Mm-hmm. Um, that happened when I was 19. I just thought it was a perfume oil. I didn't really know that it was from a plant or a shrub or all that, all that stuff. Um, but when I was 19, I started heavily studying aromatherapy mm-hmm. and essential oils. Now, this was back when, before the Internet. So I was using encyclopedias, books, old writings. Um, it was not as easy to find information as it is now. And this company, <coughs> excuse me, this company, Young Living, has been around for 28 years. So this is they were just getting started when I was just getting started. And wow. I didn't hear of them at that time. So I was buying my essential oils from another company. And that was when I first learned mostly like folk usage. I was very interested in folk medicine. What did they use it for and how long have they been using it for? Like if it's, for instance, frankincense and myrrh, both of those old, uh, are very old ancient uses in Egypt, baby Jesus. We have like all of these references going back for thousands of years using frankincense and myrrh oil. Mm-hmm. Um, essential oils are steam distilled or cold pressed from whatever they come from. Frankincense, you slit the tree and a resin comes out. That resin hardens, like a sap comes out, it turns into a resin, the resin hardens, they collect the resin, and they steam distill it. Lavender flowers, you take the lavender flowers, you put and you steam distill them. Orange peel, you cold press. Right. Now, I'm about to blow your mind with this. The reason that um, aromatherapy actually works, it's not just the catchphrase, it is actually therapeutic. Because real essential oils, when they're created purely, are the life essence of the plant, right? Oh. So they, it's it's like the it's their immune system. It's it's their it's their, it's their life juice. It's their like Holy Spirit in liquid form, for real, mm-hmm. for real. And it has measurable frequency, has scientifically provable effects. Things like peppermint calming your stomach. Mm-hmm. Um, these these only happen when the oil is pure. Okay. So here's what I'm going to blow your mind with. The FDA doesn't really regulate what goes into bottles of essential oil. And you pick up a bottle of lavender oil by XYZ brand. Um, There's like a 99% chance that it's cut with synthetics, uh, that it wasn't distilled properly at the correct time, temperature, or pressure. First of all, so first of all, you have the distillation. The gr- first, let me go back to growing. <laughs> can I can I share for another couple of minutes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is, this is it all leads show. into each yeah. other. So, 
The reason I choose Young Living is they're the only company that owns all the, their own farms. On top of that, the soil has to be clean, um, virgin soil, or completely tested uh, that it has no pesticides for like 50 years or something. It's way beyond organic. Organic standards are only eight years. USDA organic standards are eight years. So their soil has to be cleaner. GMO seeds only. Uh, Non-GMO seeds, sorry. Heirloom seeds only. No GMOs. Mm -hmm. No pesticides ever. All hand weeded. Cost $10,000 an acre versus $60 an acre to spray pesticides. It sounds like uh, wow. in uh, when you started in 15 and there is... Um you know, uh, people been doing this for thousands of years, like you said. The you distillation isn't that old. They, I mean, they didn't have the sophisticated type of distillation equipment that we do now with all the gauges and digital thermometers. And, sure. You know. So do you feel that with the advent of technology that these, um, to, you, to make something like back in the old days, I'll mm -hmm. say old days, mm -hmm. they took the plant, they crushed it, mm -hmm. maybe whatever and no no they put it in fat too like they yeah. would put they so would, there was a the process Egyptian, they would put a fat in their hair mm -hmm. uh with like animal fat mm -hmm. uh, like alligator fat or something like, i was like, reading like, with the oils like, like an activator or a yeah. binder or yeah, something exactly. to make it and um yeah but you know their their technology wasn't like where we have uh, distillers no. and stuff and, and the tests could, the mm -hmm. tests that we can run now because each mm -hmm. oil has hundreds of chemical constituents in it. I'm not a scientist and I don't remember this stuff very well, but I've read it a lot and I I know I understand. And you can with Young Living you can actually read about um, the levels of what they had. They test everything like 27 times from the seed to the seal to make sure that wow. what you're getting like that. is 100. Per, it's their uh, guarantee seed to seal 100 mm -hmm. percent pure unadulterated no fillers no synthetics tested 27 times there's no other company in the world that promises that and if you're going to be popping peppermint oil in your mouth you need to know that that oil is pure mm -hmm. and not full of chemical solvents or stretchers or fillers or any of that and so that's why um i've chosen young living and i've actually been working with young living oils and products for only about three and a half years um and I can talk more about that, that later, but that's why your skin is the way your skin is. Well, I I, I think some of that's I, I got good skin. I mean, I did, yeah. uh, but I've also taken good care. And you of don't it. go in the sun much, right? Um, no, you, you, not, not you, too much. I, I'm heavily tattooed. So yeah, but you're yeah. you're you limit yourself yeah. um, going in the sun. Yeah, like how I some do. people. Uh, um, not just in Hawaii, but yeah. When well, after I with my early years, I didn't. I was like, I looked Mexican. I was super dark. I grew up in California, and I know seriously, seriously, people did not think that I was a white girl. They thought I was a Mexican girl because I was so dark. <laughs> and I laid out in the sun. I turned so brown. I have Cherokee yeah. Indian, so I never burn. I just, uh, is that okay? No, my lights went out. I know. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, <laughs> this, okay. that's what I noticed about, and not just because of. But it's it's lighting. everything. Listen, pure water. I don't yeah. drink alcohol really anymore. That's I don't great. smoke cigarettes. I, you know, I'm always using pure products on my body. I drink lots of pure water. My diet is clean. I take supplements, like all of that stuff. So all of that, has, yeah, that's, 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 that's lifestyle wellness. That that's is the, package. the key. It, yeah. It's, but, um, most people that, you know, we go through life, you know, they're not going to have these guidelines. Okay. We're going to do this, 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 this. Only when you grow into this a whole new uh, mentality, okay, I gotta take care of myself. I gotta exercise. I gotta not enough sun. But everybody has their own choice. They they just kind of like just winging it, really. And but you didn't wing it. You kind of dialed it in. Well, that's because I got sick. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> when you're when you're so sick. I mean, a lot of people don't, they don't care about the, the bioaccumulation. They don't care about it, their, the, the toxic load on their body. They just, or they don't know. If, they, if, they, if we don't know what we don't know. I grew up on Wonder Bread cleaning with Clorox, just the same as everybody else, right? But as I became more educated about health, yeah, I was like, oh, I, I should education. probably eat organic. I should probably do this. But it wasn't until I was super, super sick uh, with stage four endometriosis and I had to have specialty surgeries and I had to completely turn my life around and like go like, not, not like, oh, I'm organic. No, I had to really get it. But into nobody it. came to you and say, you have to. No, I, my body you did. did. It. You did it. You did it on your own. I, I had mean, to. Yeah. Like, <laughs> nobody, you, you didn't go to, like, a nutritionist or somebody say, okay, Serena, you got to have to do this. Um, well, that's not entirely untrue because my doctor, my surgeon hmm. uh, for my endometriosis has a book called The Endometriosis Diet and Health Plan, Get Your Life Back. And I was so uh, far into the disease 
um, that I knew that I should probably read this book and do whatever that it said. And that was when I started learning about gut health, about not uh, eating inflammatory foods, about reducing toxins in my cleaners and all of that. At the exact same time as I happened upon Young Living as a company, they don't just sell over 200 essential oils. They have a catalog of over 600 plant, uh, plant-based toxin-free cleaners, face care, hair care, baby care, animal care, supplements, all of these things are in their catalog. And I was like, this is exactly what I need. I'm just going to order from this company, Mm -hmm. you know? And that's, that's how I pivoted into lifestyle wellness as a career. Before that, it was all art and performance. Wow. uh, I'm going back to this. Yeah. This event, um, this is the first one that you've done? This Thursday was the last, the first one. Okay, cool. So what, what did you, um, you personally um, figure out from doing your first one, like um, uh, as far as like um, how you set it up and from what you do first, the next thing to get the, because it's two hours. No, no, no. This next one is two hours. The regular one is one hour. One hour. Okay. So, yeah. And so the two hour one is going to have an hour of movement and dance afterwards. So okay. we'll segue from everyone, you know, getting up and sitting on their mat after the sound healing and meditation. Because you're very like, not sleepy, but you're very relaxed. And T- this time we just segued into, you know, picking up our yoga mats and saying goodbye. Talk us through. Oh, like uh, okay. when we when we. We when, show up. When, when you we show, show up, up at the okay. door. Okay. You show up at the door. You walk in. It's an absolutely beautiful, climatized, rainbow light, dim environment with uh, aromatherapy going, just like soft rainbow lights. Go in, set down your yoga mat, maybe stretch a little bit. You got about five or ten minutes before everyone files in and I lock the door because mm-hmm. it's a sealed container. You cannot come late to this event. I will not let you in. <laughs> Good. Um, well, yeah. it's a sacred it's a sacred container. Like um, so like everybody it. sits down on the mat. I give just a brief introduction, and then I lead you in a grounding meditation. Uh, just a little bit of breathing, tranquility breathing, getting everybody centered and grounded. And then I do a, what I call the welcoming of the bowls, uh, because, well, I guess it depends on what you believe. But if you're like me, you would say that uh, these crystals hold spirit. That you know, that there's life force or energy in this crystal. Mm -hmm. Um, Well, these bowls are made of crystal. And so the bowls also have energy Mm -hmm. to them. And it's so sacred to me. It feels so um, like celestial and and healing that I just like every, before everybody lays down to receive their healing, I feel like everybody should sit up and welcome the bowls. But I've never heard of this. I've never, I I did not like, like read a, a book on like how to present the bowls to a group of people or anything. I just had a vision and I was like, this is a natural progression for me. I'm just gonna, the bowls tell me what to do. So Isn't that cool? That, that is, <laughs> it's like a musician. It's just a natural progression. You know, yeah, you, so that's, you know, I, like I did that. a brief opening, uh, welcoming, bringing in the energy and then everyone's invited to lay down. And at that point, um, I d- take you into a deeper guided relaxation meditation. Mm-hmm. And then there's about 30 minutes of sound healing. That's where you're just laying there receiving the sounds of the bulls and the bulls do their own magic like i mean i can direct it but honestly they they just do their own thing so um there's some manipulation of the bulls to create a noise mm-hmm. or sound yeah uh i'm familiar with the tibetan bulls that are i think they're maybe brass or something S- same method and then you kind of whack you it whack and, it and, and then you go around the edge go around yeah. and it makes a tone or a frequency yeah. and depending on how you use the the wand mm-hmm. it can create different sounds and something very special happens um i i was guided to purchase these two one is tuned to the c note and the other is tuned to the g note mm-hmm. the c note corresponds to the root chakra your lower chakra in your energetic system in your body mm-hmm. so it helps um, give feelings of stability and groundedness and um, the other one is for the throat chakra. Mm-hmm. So really, I've, I see a lot of people right now, and I encounter a lot of people who are coming into their power, learning to express their real selves using their voice. And um, so this is a, a really good one. Yeah. yeah, so they harmonize. And when you play both bowls at once, you'll see. You'll I, hear, I, you'll I, feel. I like, remember. Cool. It's a third note. A third note comes in when you play the two together, and it's just like you are literally in, you're like you're like that, looking at the Aurora Borealis. That's how I feel when I play the bowls. I remember the first yeah. time, the first time I heard a sound bowl, it was in a QC, and I, I think she told me that it was like five sounds or five steps from C to G. Mm-hmm. It's like a five step. So in music, that's like a fifth. Yeah. Um, it, it, it's a, and then, 
for a third note, that would be like a perfect triad, you know, in a sense, like one, three, five, you know. It's mm -hmm. like, wow, you hear that ghost note, but it's actually C to G, but there's another note in yeah, between. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This it's is a magic, trippy. it's a magic note that comes out. Wow. Yeah, it's really, and then you just, I mean, there's really no way to explain it other than it's it's frequency healing. I mean, the, the, they are emitting a frequency and your cells can't resist it. I, I've, it, um, it's like water. You can't resist water. Exactly, it's going to yeah. permeate. You can't resist the essential oils. They're tiny, tiny molecules. You can't resist the sound vibrations. You know, you know. Yeah, like being a musician. I've, I've uh, heard of. Uh, you're like maybe the. Th this is very popular though. This this crystal ball thing, mm -hmm. um, and uh, what uh, what was I trying to say about? Um, like uh, certain certain um, <coughs> things like uh, chiropractic, uh, acupuncture, holistic uh, medicine. Yeah, holistic mm -hmm. medicine. It, it it came from somewhere. So so who is the originators of the crystal bow? And because it I have look, no it, idea. I'm looking at it. <laughs> I'm looking now. At I really want to. I have no clue. Oh, you don't? Uh -uh, okay. No, I have no idea. Be who because you know, from them. space. Because when I think they are of from space, man. Because when I'm thinking of like acupuncture. Them. It was the Chinese, Chinese for right. thousands of years I ago. I would have to Google it afterwards. And now just to curious. just to think, like, how do they know that you put a needle here and, and that? It's amazing. It it took years and years and thousands of years to get. And then how did they know that this plant, if you ate it, it'll 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 cure your sore stomach? Trial right? and error, I guess. It's exactly. mysterious, isn't yeah. it? No, yeah. it is yeah. trial and error yeah. because yeah. they watch the animals and okay, look sure. at the animals yeah. are eating that, and he seems to be jumping around really frisky right right you know or something and must be horny goat weed yeah or something right? <laughs> but Sorry. but you have to be very observant and but then there's yeah. also intuition mm -hmm. and there's something that guides you to just go instinctively man look at that plant and you yeah. know I, that's definitely part of it and then that's so how, i mean that's how people create things right yeah. it, it, that's how people intuition uh, and, you and you get called Invent things yeah yeah so the the crystal bowls it look i'm looking at it and it looks very um precise as far as its um, invention uh, being made, construction, yeah, oh, construction. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. very it precise. Is, it, yeah, it is. And um, you know, there's probably maybe only just a handful of people who make uh, companies that make these, yeah. and especially to tune them to a certain and quality, the quality, just like the essential oils. Right. So they have to find <laughs> the bowls, or you you, you got to get the good quality. I, I seen some uh, <laughs> some bowls uh, uh, back in the past was oh man get pretty pricey man. they're not yeah. they're not inexpensive but um I don't, it's just it is what it is yeah, yeah. <laughs> they'll pay for themselves eventually yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but i mean the people who who make these they're 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 part of the um the lineage of this um thing you know the 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 manufacturers of this like uh, somebody who makes uh sure i see what whatever you're they're making so i'd like to know which um Where it maybe, maybe all cultures yeah. that have done it yeah but you know like like um We've had um, some people who lean more towards the yogic sure. side, and there are other people who lean more towards the Hawaiian side mm -hmm. of these things. And I guess that's because, you know, if you're from Hawaii, there's only certain things around exactly. that you can use. So something like this is like otherworldly. Well, this almost. is also technology too. Yeah, yeah. because you could. I mean, in the in the in the olden days, All as we were saying, day. right? You can go into the cave. Mm -hmm. You can carve yourself out a big fat chunk of quartz crystal, and you could sit there for fifty years and carve it <laughs> until it, it makes a bowl. <laughs> and you can pass that shit down onto your kids right. and teach them how to go like this with a stick. <laughs> and maybe my whole life you mind. know, like maybe it's gonna be you know yeah. what it is now. But I have a feeling there's some technology involved. Yeah. Absolutely. You yeah. know, with this that that um, yeah. When you're dealing with facilitates frequency. Facilitates that precision yeah. of frequency. Yeah, because when you're dealing with frequency, we've had from, you know, uh, piano, classical period time where they played piano and they used a certain temperament when they were tuning their instruments. Yeah. And it changed over the centuries. Uh, when we say C, it's, uh, we just, like, depends. If you're a ukulele player, this means C, this chord. If you're a guitar player, this means yeah. C. But if you're thinking frequency C, mm -hmm. it, it looks like it looks like this. Right. So you hit a C on that. The frequency will be the same. But, yes. But uh, it's I, I'm I'm 
can't wait to see what you're gonna do. <laughs> 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 Should we do it now? Should we do it? It's, it's, do, it's, should we do it now? Yeah. Well, no. Well, we could, but we're, we're only like half an hour in. So. No, it doesn't okay. matter. I, I, I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so, so what we would do then is we'd um, pause the cameras. Yeah. And then yeah. um, I move things around. And, and then, then we come back and yeah, talk about come, your yeah. experience. Okay. Yeah. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. So Bye, everyone. Bye. We'll be see back. you soon. <laughs> time in, feeling yourself become present, and exhaling all the tension and thoughts of anything outside this present moment. Continue to breathe slowly and deeply as you allow yourself to settle in to this place and this time, and we'll begin our crystal bowl healing.
<laughs> oh, that was lovely. That was incredible. I was lying down on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. I oh, saw my you. Buddha. Man, you were like uh, oh, no, levitating I'm... once again. Well, if you think so, there, Arlie. <laughs> Tell Wait. me what it was like for you. It was, uh, well, my experience was uh, I was on the verge of becoming emotional. I was not an emotional person. I'm a crybaby. But um, um, just saw different, just a, I, I'd rather be levitating or thinking about love or, uh, or lost. I mean, all the different, different feelings, but... Um, it was just like going through my body is like slicing through the, the deep drone and the, and I hear the, the, uh, what do you call that? Stir going around like, like, makes you think. And then when you don't do that, uh, I don't think I just want to relax. So I was going through all this different rabbit holes, I guess. Mm-hmm. I don't know, just a different vibe. Um, That's awesome. But emotional. Emotions, yeah, I got really emotional about uh, certain things. I guess I was thinking about certain. How do you feel now? Relaxed, to- totally relaxed. Mm-hmm. Um, um, certain stress left my heart. That's nice. Like oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's terrific. It's, yeah. it's really normal to have unpleasant things come up. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you something funny just to prove the point. When I was facilitating on Thursday night... It's powerful to lay next to the bowls, but I have to say, as the person who's like the closest to the bowls, that vibration is very strong. Oh, man. And it's, it is. It's dislodging yeah. frequencies that have possibly been stuck, stuck in you, exactly. right? Exactly. So when I was playing the bowls on Thursday night, I was like, I felt like I was tripping on some psychedelics, which I was not. Right. But I felt, I was like, whoa, man, these colors look amazing. I'm like, this is good. And then I'm just like... Oh, I feel kind of sick. And I'm like, no, no, no purging right now. No, no, I'm the facilitator. Like, I don't care how purifying this is. I can't go into this. But I felt that, like, nausea come is that up. From where, did you notice that nausea from more the, the lower frequencies when it starts going? I, don't, I, I can't say that I remember exactly when it happened. I just, there was a lot of vibratory jiggling of my aura or whatever well, it the, just lodged some stuff and i was like listen we can purge later but i'm facilitating right now i would yeah. definitely like to um, be in that um exposed to that uh, frequencies in a longer period of time where i can actually lay down yeah um because i uh, like talk about unlodging and moving things mm-hmm. um frequencies can move like uh you probably read, I, like I have, going down the rabbit hole of reading stuff where frequencies moved objects, levitated objects, because they were uh, surrounded by some some sound. Mm-hmm. They've already done that in the in the in the laboratory where they have like this small styrofoam piece, and they blast uh, frequencies from different angles, and it and it encapsulates this thing and it's floating in the air. Like oh that. wow, I didn't know about oh, yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, cool. I seen that. Yeah, that's cool. That's just vibrations holding yeah. up this, mm-hmm. creating a like a little bubble for this styrofoam piece to, to stay up in the air and of course it's going like this right because you got frequencies hitting yeah. it this way then one from underneath and it's, it's pretty cool so there's uh there's that there's also when you uh, <coughs> when you do meditation and um you're doing like healing organs you put your hand over like a liver mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. you go you, you create your own vibration with mm-hmm. noise mm-hmm. yeah yes but then the better you get at it you can move it to your hands and then it'll go but with this, it's just like, boom. Oh, man. Waving through now, if you could you, direct yeah. that to like... You can you. with smaller bowls. You can put them on people and yeah. 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 hold yeah. them above That's people. Yeah. I had, uh, I had yeah, a bowl on me. That, that, was, that was intense. Yeah. It was right on my chest. Yeah, I've had that too. It's, mm-hmm. yeah. it's moving. So like, yeah, if you have uh, maybe blockage in your intestines mm-hmm. and constipation, maybe yeah. that might break things it can up. Help. And yeah, send, uh, absolutely. Mean, only, uh, only kind of goes wherever you need it. To experiment with that stuff would be yeah. great, you know. And you have to, you have to experiment on yourself. Yes, and experimenting with natural things is yeah. a much better way of um, <laughs> living one's life than experimenting with lots of drugs and doctors. As yeah. far as I'm personally concerned, uh, <laughs> so it's. Um, I know it's. Uh, there's so many different things that's going through my mind, but that. Um, all I can say, like, around my chest area was just so tight, and then it was lifted off, and 
So I was like this, and then slowly, arms like that, uh, opening it up. Yeah. Oh. Hey, thank you. Yeah, you I re- so it, it, it was great. From what I experienced, that um, when you started, you're working on one bowl, and then when you when you did the unison. Oh, that, that was, was like uh, that was told you. incredible. Yeah. Well, there's another note that comes out. Yeah. There's another thing that happens. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like portal activation. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I was the middle note because I'm like, in a, like I'm hearing these two notes, but it's kind of like stereo mono, yeah, mono yeah, yeah. stereo. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm like, wow, <laughs> yeah. this is awesome. So while while people are experiencing this and laying down or sitting up or whatever yeah. in in, yeah. in the group uh, experience yeah. that you have, where does the aromatherapy come into be? Are you burning incense or? Well, that's, I only use the diffusers um, because um, incense often has fillers and synthetics in it. Mm-hmm. So I, I choose to not use incense anymore because mm-hmm. I have diffusers. <laughs> okay. and, and with the diffuser, what they are is... is um, that's a I nice one. Show you. Thank Pla- you. Do you place them around strategic? Yes, around sir. People? Oh, okay. Yes, with specific oils inside. So this one right now has um, frankincense, lavender... And pine. I don't really smell that. I mean, just because I'm used smelling. to it. Am yeah. I used to it? It no? might be. Let me turn it on so it's cranking. But here, why don't you smell this bottle of frankincense? And let, let, the, uh, let the world see your reaction and then pass no. it on over to, to Brian. Because, you know, even just smelling essential oils out of the bottle, uh-huh. um, you don't have to put them on yourself. Mm-hmm. You know, even if you're just smelling it, sniffing it out of the right. bottle or... Um, pass it to Brian when you're done, and then I'll, I'll show you something. That, did you smell it? Franken- not yet. Oh. Frankincense. So I can only think of Frankenstein when I hear frankincense. <laughs> frankincense and myrrh. That's close. Frankincense and myrrh. Okay. Franken- like, frankincense. Frankincense was before Frankenstein. So this is a resin from a tree. Wow. That's been used uh, for... It's, um, thousands of years. And in fact, the Catholic Church, I believe, still uses it mm. in their incense sensors. When they go through and they're waving all that smoke, that's frankincense because it puts you in a it's spiritual funny. trance. It, 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 it's pleasant. It can it's take pleasant. you back yeah. in time, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. it helps to uh, it helps uh, cognitive function, brain function. Uh, it helps you think more logically. That's what people think that frankincense is good for meditation because it helps you like space out or something. But no, yeah. it's actually it helps you b- focus your mind. Heavy. Yeah, frankincense and peppermint. It's also uh, really really good for skin. Um, It helps to boost the immune system. And there's even amazing research that's been recently done on um, what happens when they take frankincense molecules um, against cancer cells. And I can't say too much about that legally, but everyone can go do their own research. Sure. Um, I can't make any claims. By the way, I'm not a doctor, and I can't make any claims that any of these can actually help you in any way, but they can. (laughs) Only you can make that claim. Yes, only you can make that claim. Yes, exactly. Um, I got some stuff. uh, I'm going to ask you something offset uh, after all of this. So so. real real quickly, that that, uh, comes in a bottle that looks like, what, four ounces? Uh, This is a 15 mil, so it's half ounce. Okay, it's half ounce. So then you would, um, oh, half ounce, okay. This is half ounce. And in this diffuser right now, I have three drops of lavender, three drops of frankincense, and three drops of pine. So one of those would last you a long time? Well, I I go through almost one of these a month. Okay. But I get it free because when you buy your stuff on the monthly program, you get Mm -hmm. points to spend. Ah. And I always get it for free. But it's um, this is a rare and valuable oil, there's no doubt. Um, So that diffuser right there. Are, are, have you been experimenting with a couple of drops of this, a couple of drops of that? Oh, forever, yeah. Yeah, no. and then there's blends that are already pre-made, too. But doesn't that throw off the potency of, like, if you just what frankincense does, you just need that that um, that specific um, benefit of the frankincense that you would just pure frankincense in the diffuser and you, and then maybe another day... You can do whatever you want, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, and that's that's actually the beauty of having a selection is that mm. you get to be, you have your you own can apothecary. Mix it up. Like, I feel like I need cedar wood when I sleep. I feel like, I, and like, what if I felt like I wanted to put frankincense under my tongue right now? I know that that's safe and I can oh. do that. If, I, if I'm like, man, I want some frankincense, I'm probably not going to go put it in my diffuser. I'm going to drop it into my hand uh-huh. and I'm going to go like this. Mm. Oh, wow. <sighs> That's and the way that's you really like do it, that's, right? That's through yeah, your hand. Yeah. yeah. And then exactly. it's really good for your skin. So you yeah. wonder why I look so young. This is part of it, is putting the frankincense. And then in your hair or wherever, it's it's good for you. Frankincense, you can't do this with every essential oil. Like some of them you need to dilute. Okay. Um, but frankincense, I know, and I'm telling you, it's okay to put directly on your skin. Wow. Yeah, and the lavender would be the same. So smell lavender. Lavender's very different. Oops, sorry. So it takes 22 square feet of lavender flower plants to make that bottle. Wow. 22. 
Yeah, so see? Yeah, look. Immediate. Man, this is really beautiful. Yeah. That one. Yeah. yeah, totally different experience. So each each one has different things to offer you physically. Right? So I said frankincense is great for your skin. But frankincense is also the most spiritually protective essential oil that you can put on your body. So Thank for you. me, I have to put frankincense on mm. every day before I go out. Because I'm going to go out in public. I'm going to be interacting with lots of people and mm. energies. I just put it all over me. And I go out and I feel like I have a little cloud of frankincense on. <laughs> and I, you know, I'm walking around feeling holy and protected. And, That's you know, great. That's you know. very cool. You see, lavender is totally yeah. different. Lavender is beautiful. Yeah, so lavender yeah. has a more relaxing quality. Um, and it's used to help balance out, um, you know, the mind. And a lot of people help to use it for sleep. Uh, yeah, but it's I also the first, say for thing, sleep. first thing I put on burns and cuts. I don't care if I'm bleeding. If I'm bleeding and it's open, I will put this lavender, not other lavender. And I know I made that point before, but I mean it. The FDA doesn't regulate what goes in these bottles. That's why it's important to know your company. Because mm -hmm. you think, oh, I just cut myself. I'm bleeding. I'm going to put some lavender. Well, what uh, if that has synthetic chemicals right. in it sure right yeah. so yeah so the uh, I, i'm thinking of um like uh, each one of these um i uh what do you call each one of these Bottles? aromas or, oh. or, or, or what do you call it plants yeah or whatever yeah. each one of these things um like so throughout the day going out throughout the day and you've got uh, like uh, maybe five ten of these different smell uh things you could just like okay i'm gonna <laughs> Smell this one for a little while, or uh -huh. put this one on, then uh, then yeah. an hour later do another. It's, it's thing. called oiling, oiling and okay. once you get into it as a lifestyle. I mean, did you? I mean, you may have seen me earlier. I was just like, do 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 do. Yeah. This is Royal Hawaiian sandalwood. So this is from the Big Island. It's sandalwood wow. oil. Oh wow. yeah, this was used. This wow. this That's sandalwood. This sandalwood was used for the royalty. Wow, what? And what is this crystals in there? Those are crystals in there. I made that roller oh. with the crystals. But it's undiluted sandalwood oil. And that, that sandalwood wow. comes wow. from the big that's, island. That's like... Here's uh, the cool thing. The forest of sandalwood trees over there mm. had a disease in the roots. And in order to preserve the sandalwood forest, they had to cull the trees that had the disease in the roots. But the, the trees that had the disease in the roots make great oil like the rest of the tree still has no problem and when they distill it the essential oil is perfect for all of its uses so they're doing a service to the aina by replanting healthy sandalwood trees and culling out the diseased sandalwood trees and making essential oil from it Bam. Wow. Genius, genius. and that's how they do it everywhere they go wow. everywhere young living goes they reforest they improve the land they yeah, and it's all, it's beyond organic. It's all natural. So this is like. I feel, yeah, I feel so special. reset. Yes, that's the yeah. idea. It is, it is very, um, it, it does something to you. you it does. Your, your, your it psyche, does. Yeah, it it does your psyche, yeah. It's every level. It's it holistic. That's why I'm saying holistic. You, your senses, yeah. it kind of gives you a little. Because you don't walk out of the of doctor's office like, like this. Like, no. No way. No. More like this. Yeah, right? <laughs> right? And see, so that's why, that's why that's why lifestyle wellness is so important. Because if you don't start taking care of yourself now, if you don't make time for your wellness now, you'll be forced to later. Yeah. It's yes. that simple. But well, you yes. don't also, Serena, this is so much fun. Isn't it? It's fun. <laughs> I it's know. fun. And it's um, interesting. And, and um, like you said, you can go do your own research. You can get deep into it. Or you can just enjoy it. And say, okay, give me some of that. I'm right. gonna interrupt real yeah. fast. Yeah, do it, brother. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we got we got another gift. We're gonna give. To oh, okay. Yes, this yes. is from Arlie and I. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Oh yay! <laughs> A Hawaiian dictionary. Thank you so much. Mahalo. Oh, pleasure. Mahalo, yeah. Nui Loa. Oh yeah. my gosh, this is really special. I think it was a perfect timing because he's talking about the Big Island. Uh, yes. you know, so it's yeah. Enjoy that. Oh. And put it with your life. Add it to your library. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Mahalo. <laughs> oh my welcome. gosh, I love it. Only at the riff. Yeah. Oh, at the riff. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I like this word, kulipo. Cool. Dark. Deep as a cave, Ooh. extremely intense or much. <laughs> that would be me. <laughs> oh, and you just so happen to pull up on it, right? Pulipo, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, fun nickname. For Use that in a sentence. <laughs> um, uh, when I smell myrrh essential oil, I remember past lives in in which I, I have this feeling of being a Kulipo. Ah, okay. I, I don't know nice. if that's right, but that's... Yeah, yeah, but I know what you meant. Deep, dark in a cave, you know, like it makes me feel like that. 
No, so uh, now now we're <laughs> gonna go you. eclectic. Well, I see so many different things across the table here. Oh, yeah, what's all, all right? All right. Goodies. Well, let the, me give you another gift mm. then. The tarot cards. I mean, uh, those uh, are oracle cards. Yeah. Yeah, because I want to. I want to touch on that. Yeah, I want to touch on that. Yeah, no, no, no. It's first. I want to give you this. So that drink that you're drinking, right? And the drink that I'm drinking in this bottle right here. So real quickly, you've yeah, probably heard of goji berries before. Yeah, a lot yes. of people have. Okay. Yeah. So most goji berries are grown in India. Young Living's goji berries are grown in Ningxia, China. Ningxia is a province in China that's up in the Himalayan foothills. Mm -hmm. So the berries that grow there have a higher nutritional profile than the ones that are sold from India. So this is the most antioxidant rich. This one's for Arlie. The most antioxidant rich. Oh, thank you. Uh, beverage that or word. supplement that you can oh. even just keep that one for later. Okay. So that's the concentrate. That's what comes in the bottles or the packets. Mm -hmm. And you only drink need to drink two ounces a day to feel the vitality benefits. I drink four ounces a day, sometimes six, because that's what I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, I, I shifted a lot of other unhealthy um, eating and drinking patterns like sugar addictions and caffeine addiction. I shifted off. This has no caffeine in it. It's mm. just goji berry uh, puree juice. Now what we're drinking though is I put two ounces of that. I filled it up with water and then I added in lime essential oil, which has the most, this is going to sound like crazy, right? Mm. Bioflavonoids. Do you know what bioflavonoids do? I didn't. Do you know? Sounds like flavor. Flavonoid. Do you know what bioflavonoids yeah, do? Yeah, is that, is that artificial stuff or? No. Oh. Bioflavonoids are, <laughs> no. <laughs> bioflavonoids are natural constituents in citrus that um, scavenge free radicals. Do you know what free radicals are? Yeah, uh, those guys. Are they and I? The guys in Wailuku, right? <laughs> <laughs> Those <laughs> right? So I didn't know any of this stuff either, but okay, this is, I won't overwhelm you, but free radicals are like when your, your cells give off, um, when they oxygenate and they start to age, it's because of mm. free radicals. So if you have enough bioflavonoids in your system, the bioflavonoids go and they scavenge, they, they match up and, and fix out or they get out of your body, the free radicals that are oxidizing your cells that are making you older and sick. Okay, so bioflavonoids, oh. the reason we want those. So you want to eat an orange, right? Well, when you eat an orange, you get some bioflavonoids. Oh, okay. But say you don't have an orange and you just want to put three drops of orange in your water. Go for it. You're going to be drinking bioflavonoids. And lime, of all of the citrus oils, has the highest bioflavonoids. Oh. So I've added three drops of lime to the whole bottle along with the two ounces of the goji berry juice, the Ningxia red juice. And the last thing that's in your red drink is a supplement so Young Living also has a full line of supplements that I use. And Sulfurzyme powder is MSM, which is good for your joints, um, hair, skin, and nails. And also uh, prebiotic for your gut. So that's a powder. And I put one scoop of that in here, shake it up, and we drink one of these every day. And this is not only hydrating, but it also helps to give you the antioxidants you need. Um, it's a, it's a actually complete protein. It's just amazing. So this is something we drink every day, Ningxia Red. And Once you drink it, you won't stop. <laughs> okay, but then this is a bottle of it, though. Yeah, so they sell it in bottles. Or, you, or you make your own. Yeah. Okay, oh, no, no. Gotcha. Well, okay. The packet is the concentrate. Mm -hmm. This bottle has one packet of concentrate in it. Does that and, make sense? And water. And oh. water. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, and yeah. then the oil, the, the lime oils, oil yeah. and the sulfur zyme powder. But that's all on you. That That's your concoction. That's every, anybody who wants to do it. Like, if you're a Young Living customer and you're ordering stuff every month, you I'm going to tell you to You could be your own barista and you're a mixologist there. Yeah, I'm going to tell you to put sulfur zyme and lime on your monthly <laughs> order along with your Ningxia Red so that you can make this drink. Because when you drink this every day, it helps heal your gut, helps you keep hydrated, it gives you bio flavonoids and antioxidants and if you don't want to go that Perfect. far and it's too much trouble just buy the freaking packets and drink a packet <laughs> every day man but it, it's um this it's is unicorn juice though this is like the elixir of life if you drink this every day you will feel like a million bucks it's very um tasty i agree thank yeah. you yeah. Is that too much yeah. of a yeah, thank claim? you i should yeah. i told you you'd feel like a million bucks no <laughs> i, I feel like a trillion right now <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, i'm a surprise that, that it's, it's very um uh, neutral yeah well, uh, wait till you taste that packet. Yeah. Yeah, the packet is super concentrated. It's better cold, and um, it's they're really delicious. It's super tart. But I, I like it. Yeah, I'm it, glad. It, it's very pleasant. I'm glad. Yeah. Easy, drinkable, right? Yeah, very. Drinkable. Yeah. Good. So I have one more present for you. I got so much toys here. I, I know. Like you're going to get more, too. So this is these are um, electrolyte drops. So lots of people like to stick flavor in their water, mm -hmm. but they don't realize that like what's actually in those little bottles is super toxic. Um, so this is all natural. Um, this has electrolytes in it and grapefruit and bergamot. So you would just go like that into your water and it's going to flavor your water. So that's for you guys to keep here. Thank oh, you. Yeah, thank you. just take your regular water and put one squirt in there and it's just going to give you some electrolytes. Mm. It just enhances grapefruit. the flavor yeah. of your water, but it's natural. 
and my my personal my personal trick with this stuff mm. is to take it uh, with me to restaurants because oh, a lot yeah. of times they serve you tap water and one squirt of that and you'll be like okay I can drink that you right, know rather right, than like right. Ugh, you know <laughs> no that's no I, I think it's more like uh, from the hose I think. yeah right. from the <laughs> side the outside right in back. the back <laughs> what's up what's he doing uh, I think he has to use the restroom okay bye maybe it's uh. It's working right, right away. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, having a... It's not supposed to have that effect. ...have a profound effect on his digestive system. <laughs> uh, oh, my like. gosh. Well, Arlie, let me let me hand this to you then while he's okay. in there. All right. That's just a little room mist that I made for you guys. All it is is water and I'd say like 10 drops of a blend called Citrus Fresh. Citrus Fresh, yeah. right here. So oh, you're just gonna shake that and spritz, 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 and it's gonna fragrance the room. So if you don't have a diffuser- Can I get it on me too? You can get it on, you just close your eyes. Yeah, it's very refreshing. It's all of the citrus oils mm. plus spearmint. Spearmint, I was just gonna yes. say Yes, yeah, yeah, it brings back that memory, isn't it? Mm. I actually had to um, get over that. I hated spearmint for a really long time. Oh, yeah? I, when I first started using oils, I couldn't understand what's going on with that, and then I had the memory. Oh. The memory of the gum that I hated when oh. my mother gave me because I liked the peppermint gum. Oh. I did not like the spearmint or the wintergreen, and I couldn't use spearmint or wintergreen essential oil or any blends with it in it for a long time because I it would remind me of my mom giving oh. me these like wintergreen lifesavers, and I'd be like, Ugh! and but now I, now I'm past it. Now wintergreen smells like muscle relief to me. Like this this sports gel, this Cool Azul sports gel uh. from Young Living. This helps with aches and pains. And it has wintergreen in it. So um, this is an amazing thing to rub on tired shoulders or if you sprain anything. Wow. Coming over. Oh, that or, smells yeah. so nice there, people. <laughs> what the hell I miss? Oh, you miss the citrus fresh mister. Yeah, yeah, mister. yeah and all this is this is this is to replace all of your plugins. Okay, I'm gonna go in on, on a really important topic here for short, sweet, and it's gonna blow your mind. No yeah, you can't, sure. Yeah, no judgment to anybody who didn't know better, but I have to bring this up because this is a crux point. Synthetic fragrance is toxic. <laughs> Most of us don't really realize that. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> I don't a have mic a mic drop. to drop, but it's it's true. <laughs> Synthetic fragrance, the word fragrance, yeah. which is in our soaps, our everything, yes. right? Yeah. Our sprays, we're plugging it in, we're spraying it, all that stuff. Fragrance can house thousands of chemicals that were, mm. were ushered in to mm. the, I think it's called the Toxic Substance Act of 1970 something or other. Sorry, these are the things I can't remember, but there was a Toxic Substance Act in the 70s and all of these chemicals were ushered in and approved, why? Because they're considered industry trade secrets. You can try some, it's really runny, just it's a little bit. What, 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 what is the main ingredient? Uh, well, the wintergreen oil and then there's some other things in there um, to help well, with my brain is like to totally just. <laughs> it's good, right? You're yeah, awake and no, alive. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, but synthetic fragrance is a real problem, and here's why: um, most people don't realize that it it, it 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 interrupts your endocrine system. What that means what, is yeah, hormone that? problems. Mm. That means children possibly becoming infertile later. That means cancer. That means there's all kinds of things that go wrong when you interrupt your body systems with synthetic chemicals that you're, you're we're not supposed to be mm. having in there. And we're so used to it. We were all raised this way. Yeah. It's the same like, thing with food. Like yeah. I go on forever talking about how clean I eat and all of that stuff. Because once you realize you're like, holy shit, okay, I can tolerate drinking whiskey, but I'm probably going to get liver problems at some point, right? right. Or like I can tolerate, you know, uh, eating out all the time at McDonald's or whatever, but then eventually you're going to have a gastric issue, yeah. right? Or and I can tolerate all this stress. I can just keep going, keep going, keep going. Well, eventually you're going to have a heart attack. Exactly. Right? I can, I don't have to process all this trauma that happened to me when I was a kid. I'm just going to hold it in. Okay, now you have cancer, right? And so wow. it's the same thing with fragrance. And so one of my missions, one of my um, edu points of education that's so important is to help people get the toxins out of their home. Mm. Our, our indoor environments are more polluted than our outdoor environments because we're spray cleaning, we're doing uh, plug-ins, and all this shit is all full of toxic fragrance and the other things that are in the cleaners. So, so I brought you... So with that said, we all yeah. these toxic, um, toxic things in the people's homes and stuff. So um, I experienced this. Uh, I was living in a um, toxic, toxic environment. place, and the energy was dark. Mm -hmm. Does that contribute to like dark energy? So of to course, speak? 
I mean, okay, but it's all, it's so many different levels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not you just the, the, like coming from a container. It's. I wouldn't say it contributes to it, but it, it, it's, it's, it's damaging our inner navigation systems. I mean, it's not only making our bodies sick, but when our, when we're not a clear channel, mm -hmm. We're not attracting clear energies either. Right, right, right. right, right. It, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I, I'm a firm believer that if you shine bright enough, nothing can touch you. I mean, I have to believe that. You if know? you're riding the, uh, on the back of a tiger, the tiger can't claw you. It can if it throws you off and pins you. But you won't. You're riding its back. You're holding on. You can't. As long as you don't let go. You can't let go. Yeah, you can't let go. Can't let go. No. No, but the stuff is great. I'm using I got it you like it. Yeah, use it up. <laughs> you look different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, using it on, I'm using it on my hammy, my yeah, hamstring. Yes, please I, do. Yeah, cool as little sports show. It's really important. <laughs> so <laughs> you want me to put your yeah, use it. Hammy. It's great. You got something that hurts. Lather put it on up, there. Me. Yeah, put it on there. So Lather. no, this is a real this is a real thing, and most of us are um, also in in the cleaners and the shampoos. God, if you want me to get into like deodorant, what's in toothpaste, like oh I could go on forever, but I won't because I don't want to shock you and like completely freak no, you, you out. But I, I, me I, I do, yeah. I do want to help people awaken I, mm -hmm. to um, to a deeper understanding of how to take care of themselves, so that we stop making ourselves sick, <laughs> so that we're able to live a fuller, happier life yeah. um, on every level. And so I brought you guys a spray cleaner. This is Thieves Cleaner, and I'm gonna um, you, I'm gonna invite you. Okay, mm -hmm. now would you do this with your Clorox spray? Would you do this with your Clorox spray? No. No way. Hell no, right? No, no, no. No, no, no. Wow. This cleans better than Clorox. It is all natural, and it's infused with essential oils that boost your immunity. Spray this in your hand and smell your hand. Okay. It smells like fall in a bottle. I'll tell you the quick story about thieves and why it's called thieves. In the 15th century, there were a bunch of thieves, and they were going around and robbing the bodies of the dead that had died from the plague, but they weren't getting sick. And the king was like, hold up here. Wait, this is... Yeah, it smells it's, great. It's a memorable smell. What is it? Um, it's cinnamon. Okay, cinnamon. Yeah, cinnamon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, clove, rosemary. That's okay. a happy, happy lemon, sense, though. I like and, cinnamon. And um, <laughs> I always forget the fourth one. I mean, the fifth one. Cinnamon, clove, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. So, uh, so, lot, so going with the thieves theme? Yeah, Yeah, so the thieves thing. So they had these, they were herb traders and um, spice traders and perfumers, and they had these particular five oils and spices they were carrying on the stuffed in their clothes and all of that so they wouldn't get sick so because when the king caught them he was like i'm gonna you know you guys are gonna get unless you tell me how you're not getting sick and so back in the day they were using it in the form of vinegar they would take those herbs eucalyptus rosemary lemon clove cinnamon and make a vinegar out of it and drink it for health so this blend of essential oils became the basis for all of the cleaning products and the uh, like, we have a hand soap, we have a toothpaste, we have a mouthwash. It's so all yeah. thieves. So, so I know what do you think? I, yeah, yeah. What, what I'm thinking is, okay, so what is he thinking? This is so awesome. during, during this time, this is for you. It's your oh, cleaner. Thank you. Yeah. So, so during this time of uh, pestilence and disease, and you know the the olden days where they're riding in the wagons and <laughs> they're going down the uh, the trade route and they're they're trading and you know that exciting time in the world and amongst the other people who are kind of like falling at the wayside and getting sick and you know disease and stuff these guys were were thriving they're doing good and it's like wow these guys aren't getting sick then it brings me back to like how did they decide to put these things together and make it into a mix it with finger and start drinking it you know like that that's who knows? I, that I don't know I mean I'm, I'm glad that 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 it's resurging and it's coming back and it comes from history but man it's just like uh well then, now they can they can go into the science now yeah you know, if you want to go read about the science of what cinnamon oil does yeah. and the science of eucalyptus and the science of lemon and rosemary and, and these guys maybe yeah. didn't know and didn't care they, they didn't know yeah and, no. and they just they just did it yeah because they knew and it somehow, worked they didn't know the details but they knew that it would work yeah. somehow amazing, amazing. yeah it's, it's fascinating so um young living has an entire cleaning line and this bottle of cleaner um actually has like 30 servings so it works out to a dollar 97 a bottle so anybody who's going to tell me that young living is expensive i'm tell you right now it's not because mm -hmm. you show me a, a clean a really clean cleaner that doesn't have any synthetic fragrance that you mm -hmm. can buy for a dollar 27 a bottle you mm -hmm. can't you cannot you can't no. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so all of that stuff we got yeah. on the wheel that's right away yeah and it cleans all yeah you do i'll i'll make sure you guys get well, well i mean so so going to um profit and society and, and um business yeah you invent 
something like Clorox or Pine Sol. Mm-hmm. By the way, we're not, we're, we're not um, sponsored by any of those guys for the Riff show. But, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No spon- I'm not sponsored yeah, by anybody either. Yeah, so, um, but they make a bunch of it and people use it and they've been using it mm-hmm. and you, you there's potentially, you could get sick from it. Like you could get sick from anything, you mm-hmm. know, that you use. And now we're understanding what people used to use back in the day. Mm-hmm. You know, like uh, every time I, like I maybe say I, I get a toothache, which I, which, I, which I didn't, but say if I had a toothache, I go and look up what is the homeopathic uh, remedy for toothache. A string in a car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a drop of clove oil. <laughs> yeah, or, yeah, like that kind of stuff. And you, So this is kind of your knowledge that you accumulated over that's, the yeah, years since so you were 15 no, when no, no, you started no, no. on this um, oh. journey of... Um, no, no, no. No? No, no. All of, like this all healthy stuff, mm-hmm. I have only learned in three years. Oh, okay. No, essential oils I've been studying from a long time. Long time. Oh, but okay. like I said, yeah. it was more from a spiritual perspective mm-hmm. um, and a folkloric perspective. Sure. Whereas now, I'm, I mean, I'm like telling you to get the toxins out of your cleaners. That's mm-hmm. taken some education, but for three years I've been telling people to get the toxins out of their cleaners oh. and I research. First six months I got into this company, I'm like, what is this all about? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you mean get the toxins out of my cleaners? Why? Mm -hmm. So I did a lot of education in my first six months until I was satisfied that like, okay, I need to get the toxins out of my my stuff. I switched my makeup. I said, that's why. Oh, did you know that the, uh, that's why I have a lipstick sitting here. So I did. Wait, I have to tell you. Oh, you got, um. I don't, it's not sitting here anymore, but I do have to tell you that the average woman eats seven pounds of lip stuff in her life. Wow. So let's make sure it doesn't have lead and arsenic in it. Absolutely. How's that? Dude, women don't even realize what's in their cosmetics. We're putting all these creams and stuff on our face to make sure we look young, and it's full of stuff that's aging your skin and making you sick. Yeah. What show was that? Because I seen that, that, that there was a, a, a blotch or, like, uh, this person's face became, like, so distorted. Like, was this, that a movie? Uh, no, a documentary. Like, oh, you know, documentary. Just, uh, like, the lips or the face got so disfigured mm-hmm. because of chemicals. Years, yeah, of chemicals. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't tell you how many thousands of dollars I spent on whatever cosmetics at the, uh, you know, fancy even things that I ordered that were supposed to help you look young, that were supposed to be good for you. And you look at the back and you're just like, oh, yeah, okay, I don't know what any of that stuff is, but, you know, it's got to be science. It's got to be good for me, right? Right. No. When you start researching what's in your products, Mm -hmm. you're just like, holy crap, that surfactant is going to give me cancer. But it's in every shampoo. You think um, more and more um, um, people are going to start... like caring about absolutely this kind of, yeah. well you know why is because covid has gotten everybody actually concerned about they and a lot of people didn't even realize what an immune system was i think they know they got sick they get flus they get sick their parents get sick you know they don't realize like the importance of actually oh am i sick i take vitamin c now no you treat yourself on a daily basis so right. that you preventative i haven't been sick in three and a half years I mean it. I haven't had a cold or a bacterial infection in three and a half years since I started this lifestyle. Okay. And I'm not going to say that, well, knock on wood, you know, I may never get a cold again or whatever. But um, the reason it's becoming more popular, too, um, there's two things that are happening right now. So Young Living, by the way, has been around 28 years. There are other companies that sell similar products, but they are not at the same level and they're not of the same quality um, as Young Living. The cool thing about Young Living is that it's a network marketing company. And although network marketing has sort of a weird stigma attached to it, basically from people who don't understand network marketing or they've been contacted by friends of theirs who have started a network marketing business who are annoying. Hi, you want to buy my thing? Buy my (laughs) thing? Buy my thing? You want to buy my thing? Buy my thing? Buy my thing? That's not how we do it. Mm -hmm. But what network marketing is, is it's actually a new way of working that a lot of people are taking advantage of because you can work from home, Mm -hmm. right? So it is not a lie or anything deceitful for me to get on the phone and talk to my friend who I know just went, got sick and say like, babe, what are you cleaning with? Like, do you have vitamin C? Like, do you want to, you want to try some of this juice? Like none of that, like, yeah, I'm trying to sell her to save her. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know, I don't want you cleaning with that. So I brought you a bottle of spray cleaner. I'm not going to bug you to buy more but I would love it if you would, because then I would know that you were taking care of yourself. Right, right. You know, and so I, that's my education comes from that perspective. And, the, and, and it's all based on your 
personal network and who you know and how and why. And like, mm. for instance, I started Aroma Sound Healings. Nobody else is doing that on the island. Nobody else I, that I even know of is even really doing that. So, you know, that's, no, that's true. my right. way of combining, yeah. the, you know, the aromatherapy. But it, like right now, what I chose this. I chose to bring you lime oil in your drink and your frankincense and lavender to smell and chose. It's to, like a know. hybrid, yeah? I mean, yeah, you're combining yeah. Well, yeah. You're doing, it's an uh, alchemy. It's, in, it's yeah, an alchemy. alchemy yeah. really. All of your um, areas of um, expertise or experimentation into your ex- your aroma sound healing experience. Mm-hmm. I really want to make one of the be able to come to I, one of these. You have to. You just tell me, and, and you're there. So you have um, the fuzz box as the the location for these for now. Yes, and I'm That's very stage, huh? open yeah. to. Um, I'm also open to going into people's homes, yes. uh, small parties, private events. You know what? I have a long, long history with corporate and private entertainment as um, as a face painter and body painter and costume character and. You know, I, I'm familiar with going into places yeah. and setting up and doing things. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to do this at resorts. I'd like to do this for individuals. Um, I know, I'm really open. I'm really open. I'd like to do it for, we were talking the other day. Oh, my God. I want to go to old folks' homes, psych wards. Oh, that's, um, that's sick, awesome. Sick, sick children's hospitals. Mm-hmm. Like, there's so many people that could benefit from hearing this. I mean, it brings so much peace. Even if it's just for, like, two or three minutes. I've lived in chronic pain. If I had had somebody playing these bowls by my head, oh. I probably would have got better faster yeah, yeah. because you get a break. Yeah. You know, you don't have to take an opioid. Right. You know, instead you can just have somebody play the bowls and just find that peace for you a know, few you, minutes, you know? You know that bowls too? It's like um, walking through a veil. Like, you know, yeah. all day you walk in on your feet at Arlie. Can we bring one up and on then, the table? Sure, I'll oh, get it. Oh, and you're like, and then once you once you lie down next to a bowl and then you hear the vibration, I, I just feel totally different. I mean, it's real general, Arlie, but... I feel like it's, um, um, I feel more re- relaxed um, and, no, it, this stuff is special. I, I little, little bit more, if you don't mind, a little yeah, bit more in the middle, yeah. Serena, because, uh, no, you're here, fine. here it is, look. There? How's that? Uh, try to line more, it. More. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right there. <laughs> so let's, let's just kind of like. Do you mind if we spend some time discussing the actual? No. I just don't know that much about. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, the I con- the construction and the the yeah. company that makes it or where That's they make it. That's what I mean. I literally, yeah. I literally had a vision mm-hmm. a month ago. Like I've I've been exposed to different bowls, mm-hmm. um, and I understand generally what that they're made of glass or crystal. <laughs> um, and this particular company, I believe they're in California, and they they offer a wide variety of different materials um, and there are bowls that are made out of um, gemstones I mean they're like ten thousand oh, yeah, dollars like for real pricey, for real like, do they make stuff. do they make the same uh, frequencies different totally each uh, one is different yeah, yeah, uh. yeah and so um, this is a frosted quartz I do not know how they make it um, this company's been in business a long time you I look, didn't really look into I literally I had a vision mm-hmm. I called my friend who's been playing bowls for years and said what should I buy and where should I buy it and she said the company that I use is having a sale order these oh cool <laughs> so very, I very, did very cool I, I so, literally um, didn't look into it at all <laughs> it, it looks very fragile is it yes so do you have like a special like hard case with the uh, you know like to or, oh no! You, they I, I brought them in the boxes that they came in because I, I didn't. I chose not to buy the special bags at this time. Okay, because for um, reasons. Yeah, it, it looks just, very fragile. It is fragile. That's why I'm carrying it around in a box with styrofoam. Yeah. So with the incredible vibration it makes, yeah. I mean, it makes incredible. I mean, you can feel it. Yeah. And um, to the point where you know how like when you you take a wine glass it's and you the go same. like. The, yeah, same and, idea. And then, or, or some people can sing a hit a certain note mm-hmm. and break glass. Mm-hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, totally. Um, I'm wondering, like, how how much, like, so when you get get going really good, can you feel the the bowl kind of going like this? The bowl will start to shake and tip if I'm going too hard. Wow. On it. Yeah, it'll start. To, it'll start to sort of do this. And wait, will it start like like? It, it did. Yeah, it does. Oh, wow, yeah. that is that's incredible. Yeah, like it it it, it wants to be played slower or lighter like mm. it tells me how hard it wants to be oh. touched wow. <laughs> so do you um when you're or in your um meditating or relaxing at home do you do a lot of um just by yourself solo at night bo- i do these before bed 
-hmm. at night because it helps me to clear my head because I I have a tendency to overthink, Mm -hmm. um, even during meditation. (laughs) Right. It's hard for me to turn off the achiever monkey brain. The 10,000 things, right? Yeah, exactly. So in the morning, I do a breathing practice. I know Brian also does breathing practice. So I do a a stretching and breathing and like a gentle. I'm not like it's not a hard meditation practice. Like I'm going to think about something. It's more of a a clearing and a centering and a quieting is what I do as a meditation practice. Um, I'm not like thinking about my chakras and, you know, Mm -hmm. picturing colors and all that. That's, that's a different thing. Yeah. Um, Different level. Yeah. That's that's like a more committed, you know, if I have a specific practice or, you know, for something I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Um, And then in the evening I do another breathing practice and then I play the bowls even just for five minutes. Like I did for you guys. It, it really helps me sleep. Do you use the dual or just one? When you do it by solo by yourself, I, I do both because I need that third note, oh. that 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 mystic, magical yes. note that yeah. happens when you play them both. Mm-hmm. There's something in there that, um, you know, it's interesting. It, <laughs> I'm just gonna speak uh, consciously and freely. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, a long history of of searching spiritually since I was a child, and that involved a lot of drug use mm-hmm. in my in my younger years, and in and in you know fairly recent years, mm-hmm. um, ayahuasca ceremonies and things like that. Mm-hmm. But I reached a point where I don't really um, need that anymore uh, because I feel like I found my presence uh, in myself and, you know, my connection, my connection to source. Um, and I forgot what I was going to say after that. So no, no, the many different things that you were you were experimenting with and uh, trying out to get uh, to that space. Yeah. OK, yeah. So um, every time it, it finally hit me on an ayahuasca journey one time when I, I, I got to what I call zero point to the middle of everything. I had the experience of being at the middle of everything. Now, not that I'm God. I'm not saying I'm God. But I, we are each the center of our own universe. Of that, I'm fairly certain. And in those moments, I realized that I, I was creating my reality. I was one with everything. And I, I no longer needed to seek for anything. I no longer needed to like try to get high or to try to... Um, have that experience uh artificially Mm -hmm. but what happened when i came out is of course life happens right and you get blow after blow or you have a fight with somebody or you get triggered and you're just like or you fight depression or anxiety Mm -hmm. um and those things come up and so for me being able to get back to that point which i call zero point um is now a daily practice and i can do it through my breathing and this really helps though because you can i mean if you're just it's hard. It's not an easy meditation. Isn't easy. So, so this Ask is anyone like a, who meditates. This is <laughs> this is like a main focal point to get you to that center point where everything's quiet. That's great. Where everything's clear. Where I there's no yeah. more noise. Where mm-hmm. there's nobody telling me what's wrong or right or what yeah. to do or yeah. what I should be doing or where I should be in life or what I should be offering the public or how much to charge for the next sure. thing or whatever. Yeah. Like yeah. it's just there's nothing other than pure beingness in light. I like that. I, that, like that, that. I think that's the a, that a, a huge um, greatly said huge Thanks. benefit and huge reason for for you uh, utilizing the bowl. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I, I you, you nailed it. You know, <laughs> like why? It's like you know, some people look at it. It's like, well, it's a cool instrument, but no, it's beyond that. It's but beyond it, just it, cool. exactly what you said yeah. it does for you mm-hmm. is is what what you get out of it. Yeah, mm-hmm. finding that one that place where to the point focal point and Man, it is incredible, and I can't wait to like really not be. Um, when we're done, we're lay down yeah. and do it again. Okay. <laughs> no, it's it's yeah. deep, man. Yeah, it's, I want you to. It's yeah. powerful, and and the, the longer session really is. Uh, like I said, for myself as the facilitator, I was I was feeling like I was starting to like really let go of some stuff, mm-hmm. and then all, each person told me afterwards their experiences were radically different but all of them very therapeutic and i'm like okay i don't need to know how this works mm. it's just working <laughs> have you ever uh, recorded like with a with a proper um in a recording studio to record this because i don't think no? e- even if you did i think we were talking about that there's, go- there's gonna be to. there's gonna be it, i'm sure there's something missing than actually being in the room with the actual sure. item yeah. Something gets lost in translation. Yeah, but it's powerful. I, I've been listening to Singing Bulls on Spotify and mm-hmm. YouTube and everything for years. Mm-hmm. But I it doesn't just, give you the same... Not quite, no. no. But yeah. it, I mean, it does go in your ears, but it's... That's it, about it, yeah. but this goes through your whole body. Whole body. Yeah, but yeah. you know, it, it does... You can... It is nice to have something in your ears rather than nothing in your ears, yeah. but the in-person experience is fuller oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. oh, that's cool. <laughs> it's like saying, looking at a guitar player on, on the TV that you listen to, you know, you live. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. 
Um, we're going on like an hour and a half. I got now. some other stuff you guys I wanted want to, to tap in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, whatever you want to talk um, about. Okay, I'm going to just, let's just talk to, uh, about this topic. I wanted to okay. get her take on this because uh, I think it's cool. So um, yes. real fast because this we can st- we can stay on this like 24, 24 years <laughs> zodiac signs okay so what what's your thoughts comments and that that's a good one because it's okay. all open game and okay. it, it, every, everybody's signs. been doing it since whatever well I think that since we're going to go into this yeah they, you know, oh yeah yeah it's perfect um, I think there's some truth to it but I also I'm a, I'm a big advocate for not getting caught in superstition yeah um, I don't care what the planets are doing. So I can, so you tell me Mercury's in retrograde, so now I can't communicate with anybody and sign any contracts and all my everything's going to be full of problems? Right. No. I mean, I mean, if I can't get through on my internet, I might be like, oh, <laughs> Mercury's in retrograde. Or I try to talk to somebody and it comes out awkward. Yeah. And I'd be like, oh, <laughs> you know, but I'm not like stunted in my ability right, to some live people that because no and i'm not you know just because i'm an aquarius yeah i'm eclectic i'm colorful i'm yeah. talking so is that is that safe to say that that's just a guideline to go yeah. by it's, it's not really it's a, yeah it's not i mean a, you can but it's it's like it's like cards right so if yeah. you're going to use astrology as like fortune telling or you're right. looking into someone's chart and you're saying okay here's your chart and based on these stars you're gonna have x amount of kids or you're gonna have a terrible business life or yeah. whatever it is i don't believe that because i believe everything's mutable right. that might have been my chart when i was born I'm co-creating my life. I don't care about my, my, you know, the whole thing. Like all the family trauma, all that stuff falls in the same category. Am mm-hmm. I going to be sick because my parents were sick? Am I going to be alcoholic because or abusive because they were? No. I'm because, changing that. So because that's, you, yes. you make a, um, you make a, um, you become, you became aware. Mm-hmm. And you decided to, if so happened, you read something that goes, okay, oh, this is all about me. Oh man! Oh, that's so true mm-hmm. about me. Oh, look at that! And oh, and then if you take any credence to that, and you say, "Well, I don't like that," you have all the power in your your whole heart, body, and soul to to change that and say, like, yeah. mm-hmm. "Well, it says here because I'm a, um, you know, I'm an ego in the astrology thing, and I'm saying <laughs> ego on purpose, okay. so not to pick on anybody." Yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not E G O, right? Am I ego? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It says that I am predisposed to <laughs> argue with people. I'm right. very argumentative, and it's funny though. And, it, I, and then you go like, "Oh man, okay." And then you read this when you say you're 20, right? And you start reading some more. So now you're knowledgeable about this teaching or this practice. Mm-hmm. Say you weren't. Say you never read it, but your friend did, and yeah. goes. Oh, you got to read this. This is you, man, to a T. Mm-hmm. Like, so does that mean it's real? Does that mean it has? there's something to it? Does it mean because I, it was a study over... I think there's over something to it, but thousand, it, but, but it can offer thing, some general insight. But I yeah, guess. it's but just then, general, but, then, but it's like... But it's what like I'm like getting a, at is that you can decide after you've been exposed to it and go, um, ah, whatever. I like being that way. Or it was like, oh, man, I maybe I can purposely and through practice... And discipline um, change those those little things Absolutely. that I don't like, mm-hmm. and you can. Yes, you can. But it's funny because when I just for um, I I'm gonna pick on myself because I love picking myself because I'm not, I'm confident. Not 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 so like anyway. a, a imaginary um uh, imaginary friend. No, 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 no. <laughs> astrologist. My I've got a friend that um, he said. No. <laughs> No, I didn't take my ayahuasca pill this morning. Then. Oh, come on. <laughs> no, so anyway. Here, have some lavender. No, It'll help. No, so anyway. I did have um, my, uh, my gluten shake, though, you know, this like, morning. Oh, no. I'm a, a cancerian, so you know when no. I see myself, like, uh, my traits, it's funny. It, it, it's kind of like, ah, oh, that's that's me. Then like, oh, yeah, okay, that's not me. Oh, okay, that's me. But it's funny. How we I, want I, to I, identify with yeah, things? Yeah, because uh, certain things, it's like, describes me, and certain things is so off. Off to the races, but um, no, same, same, same. Yeah, so and I um, think it's the same with most um, most of those systems. There's other systems too, like the Enneagram and the color personalities, and there's so many different ways that you can seek to define yourself mm-hmm. within these systems. But honestly, I I find them to be helpful to a small degree, and then they're just cumbersome. Mm. They're helpful, helpful to a small degree, but then also very entertaining to a yeah, large degree. Yeah, yeah, very entertaining. Yeah, entertaining. I will, I will yeah. read my horoscope. Yeah. 
because I believe the universe always has messages for us, mm -hmm. right? So I may not totally believe in horoscopes, mm -hmm. but I'm if I'm sitting in an airport and there's a, a newspaper <laughs> next to me on the chair and it says there's a horoscope right there, I'm going to pick it up and read it. Yeah, and I'm going to be like, that's bullshit. Or, hey, I mean, that who, really feels who, like it makes sense to me. Said, Thanks for the message. Who, yeah. who has the right to say, oh, oh cancer <laughs> men is very temperamental. Cancer yeah, no, men like, is very funny looking. I mean, who ha who no, writes this shit? No, that's what I mean. It's, it's that's, been, it's there's been, truth in it, but there's also... Bullshit. It's a practice that goes way, mm -hmm. way back. Mm -hmm. They've been, been studying this stuff, the... Uh, I Ching, mm -hmm. the yeah, all, all kinds of stuff have been mm -hmm. have been practiced by people who've been around. And who who did they learn from? What was now? Okay, now we're gonna go. I don't want to go there because it, it, we'll never end this episode. <laughs> that people came down and, and taught them this this information. Somebody, it's one of the great mysteries of life, yeah, isn't it? And um, and so that's fun too. You know, it's entertaining and fun to think mm -hmm. about. I agree. And, yeah, I yeah. agree. So, um, but the people who are really masters of it and studied it and like you said about retrograde and this and that and oh you know i wouldn't uh i wouldn't sign that contract you know it's gonna go bad and then you're like oh man sometimes you have to just sign the contract because you have to or you know what i mean you like miss that window yeah and that's your that's your opportunity to either buy into the superstition side of it or not mm -hmm. like are you a creator or are you a victim you're a victim you're yeah. a victim of mercury retrograde i'm yeah. sorry why don't you step into your sovereignty decide if you want to sign the contract right. if your gut is telling you not to sign the contract that's a different that, thing that's a different story yeah. that's yeah. a different that's yeah. your intuition telling you not to sign the contract right. or to sign the contract right but if right. you're just like oh i don't think i should because mercury retrograde is going right. to ruin my chances at a good business that's just fear yeah that's, that's cool yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. but there is i mean i have friends who they forecast like for the collective mm -hmm. and they forecasted they're like oh something really big is like in the cards for april whatever and then that was when there was the whole Black Lives Matter thing and mm. all of that happened. And my friend had like called it, you know, she's like, oh, there's going to be some things in April and da, da, da. and none of us knew at that time what those things were going to be. Mm. But it, that was, you know, the general. Yeah, and that's the same thing with the Oracle cards. So too. with the so leading to the, the those cards, because sure. I, I uh, you know, in the past, people had uh, has uh, done this to me. But what what? What is this whole thing? I mean, I mean, just to, in a nutshell, if you sure. have to explain human nature, this. Yeah. human nature, and and uh, human beings, uh, like who devised this? I mean, who the, the ancients? You know, like uh, when we all used to be just got out of the out of the trees, out of the cave, and then we're staring at the the, the fireplace, and all of us are gathering around and and stories, and you know, our thoughts go like, wow, we're looking up to the stars. It's just a uh, fast forward, you know. 2000 years and here we are right and these things are are interesting and, and somebody actually studied them and, and mm. put some time and effort into working this and and uh, and we have the you know we're doing it now again you know like you uh, should call merlin to come on come on the show huh? well let me share one thing first okay. and um this is out of respect for anybody who's watching or listening who has strong religious beliefs that mm -hmm. tell them that what i'm doing is wrong um, I just want to say it's it's not. <laughs> I love God very much, and I don't worship anything. <laughs> I don't worship money, stones, or cards. But these tools are incredible. And what I love about, um, first of all, I believe everybody has the intuitive ability to use anything. I don't care if you're going to read tea leaves, if you're going to look up at the stars, if you're going to look into a pool of water and have a vision. You know, you can look into your morning cereal and have a vision. Yeah. If you have that gift or your and it's not just the gift that just every anyone has. Anyone can tune into their own right. abilities or oracular abilities. But some people I feel are born a little bit more open and myself is one of them. I've been reading cards since I was 13. Uh, there was an aisle in the bookstore that my parents would not let me go down. And uh, I was thinking about this this morning. It used to be called the occult section. Now it's metaphysical. Now it's called metaphysical yeah. or new age. Yeah, yeah. Right? There's no occult, no. you know? Yeah, so I wanted, I was reading all the books. I was a very avid reader, and I wanted in that occult aisle. And when I was 13, my parents finally let me go down that aisle. And the first thing I saw was a deck of tarot cards. Now, I bought the tarot cards with my allowance. I forced them to, to let me. And instead of looking in the book on, like, how to set them out or, like, what it means or anything, I was doing this. And traveling into the card wow. to like gain the symbolism, I'm like, okay, this guy, he is very concentrated. He's holding a sword. He's floating, you know. And then I would just go wow. into it wow. and get the feeling of it and be like, oh, but I didn't even know what I was doing yeah. at that time. 
And as I got older, I started to study the actual, the tarot itself um, is the story of the human journey. Uh, you start, there's 72 cards in the deck and you start with zero and it goes up to 20. And then there's four suits, ace through 10, page, knight, queen, and king, just like a playing card deck. This is a precursor to the playing card deck. Um, each one of the suits represents an area of life. For instance, uh, pentacles are in, in this one, they're called uh, crystals. Um, but it's the same thing as the pentacles. It's earth, finances, health. It's all the physical stuff, material stuff. Um, air has to do with thoughts, communication, ideas. Um, mm. Flames has to do with action, making things happen. Um, what about water? Water is, yeah, water is orbs or, um, what is it, uh, chalices in the traditional deck. This one's slightly different, but it's the water is emotions. Your emotional body and your relationships, right? Your cancer, your that whole thing, yep. of cancer. I mean, astrology, cancer, like right. the, those qualities. So when you when you get a reading, one card can be a reading, and it often is because you can just pull one. I pull a card of the day all the time. Okay, what is this? My card of the day happens to be strength. Okay, and so I could go in here and I could read about strength, or I can just look at this picture and be like, oh yeah, badass flaming tiger in the sky. I got this, right? But if you do out like a whole reading, like okay. What's going on with me now? What might be happening in the next month or so with X, Y, Z person or place or thing or, you know, thing. What you're going to get is you're going to get a readout of where you're at in that journey. So say you're, um, I'm asking about my business. Well, how is my business going to go? Um, I'm, I'm worried I'm not going to get enough uh, people signed up for the December um, sound healings, you know. And so I, I pull a card. Um, let's just, just for fun, just for fun. Um, we'll just go ahead and pull a card. So how, how are my December sound healings going to go? Hmm. Well, look at that. I pulled the abundance card. <laughs> that's great. There you <laughs> look go. at that. Yeah. How there, there amazing. You yeah, that's, that's I it. Did, you saw me. I did not no, pre-do no, that. No, no, no. This is a universal message that's very, very clear to me. Now, yeah. if this was muddy, if this was like some kind of like weird dark card or mm. something, I would be like, ooh, and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to read this because it's pretty yeah. well written. There's some good messages in here. Mm -hmm. um, and then if, if I'm like, well, what is this? I mean, I don't get the message from there. I'll pull another card and be like, well, how do I deal with this? Mm -hmm. So one of my favorite things about the tarot is that you can see something that might be in your path coming mm -hmm. up. Like say there was a block. So it was like a, some unpleasant card. And I'd be like, ooh. Okay, now I'm going to be more aware to the fact that there might be some, you know, person coming in from the side who's going to try to cause a problem or mm -hmm. there might be a mechanical breakdown or whatever that I can, if I see something, then I might be able to head it off at the pass and, and prepare better and, mm -hmm. and, you know, change. Or if I see that I'm going to have conflict in a relationship, well, I can go forward can knowing that there may be conflict and then right. um, diffuse it before it happens. Right. So, so, so kind of like um, what it comes is, um, what do you call that, like... Um, see into the future yes and because yeah. you can change it right nothing is fixed mm -hmm. it's it's showing you a probable timeline if you guys know anything about um what's it called not astrophysics not metaphysics what is it called physics no uh, what's the other physics what's the other metaphysical no, no. Um, oh come on um Relaying to what? Like no, it's like quantum physics. Quantum, quantum physics, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Quantum yeah. physics, they say that like th with your molecules or whatever, that there can be like 27 different realities at once because it can be a wave or a line or whatever. You know, you know what I'm talking mm -hmm. about, right? Yeah, quantum physics. Yeah, yeah. Deep. So yeah. if there can be like 27 different realities at any given moment, then all these cards are showing trip, you. Man, yeah, right? All these cards are showing you is what is most likely to happen if you don't change anything. Right. So the general trajectory says if I go through with my December things, it's going to be abundant and that's wonderful um but it's not set in stone you know i could mess that up yeah you know or i you know if something else you know happened it might you know anyway so th it's helpful uh but it's also again I, I i caution people even when i do private readings i caution people like this is just what may happen this is what may be up on the table like right. you, this is it may not, it you may can change like, this you're yeah, most likely going to be able to change it it's yeah. not going to happen like maybe tomorrow but it's going to happen maybe eight months from now well you something. can also be specific i mean i was specific how so you gotta think about it though like how specific you want yeah you gotta put your yeah. uh, put or, like intention into yeah. it yeah. or you can just like you know when i do for instance corporate parties uh with the cards like i do for the uh, different 
corporate events or whatever, then I only get about two to three minutes a person. Uh, so what I do is I have them put their, you know, just hold their hands over the card. And then I ask them, is this about something specific or is this, you know, would you just like to know, you know, what the cards want you to know? <laughs> yeah. And a lot of people just want random advice. They don't want to ask about their sick child or their, their purchase mm. or whatever their lover or whatever they don't. They, yeah. they just want to see what the cards say. And what's cool about that is it gives you the opportunity to just, you know, receive. Yeah. Um, oh. I don't think it's appropriate. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pull one. You want to pull one? Okay. So you go ahead and shuffle the cards. Just put your energy in them. There's no right or wrong way to do it. I mean, you can be ceremonial if you want to, but you can also just cut them and shuffle them however you like. And when you feel satisfied with uh, that, then just hold them for a moment <laughs> and uh, take a, a nice long deep breath there. Put your energy into the cards. And then um, if you have something specific that you want to focus on, go ahead. You don't need to tell me if you don't want to. Okay, and then you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tell us all what what you what you wanna what you're looking for the cards to tell you. Yeah. Do what, you what's the subject? Yeah. Are you wanna you wanna let us know or are you just gonna keep it to no. yourself? Okay. Is, okay. Did you pick a That's subject? Fine. Yeah. Okay. 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 Oh, you're picking your card already. I love it. Yeah. Pull it. <laughs> what you got? Three of orbs. This is that the seeker. Let me o see. Orbs is Three water. Orbs. Okay, this is a complex card. That's emotion. Yeah, it is. And this is a complex card. Okay, so we're getting, yeah. this is a complex card. We're going to read the meaning out of the book. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, we just was talking about orbs, like water, right? Yeah. Water, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Three of Orbs is, is not the easiest card in the deck, but it carries a powerful message. Are you ready? Yes, okay. let's do it. <laughs> oh, very. F and this is for you because we have no idea what you're what you yeah. thinking. <laughs> this is, you're going to get your own message here. So you're looking at this picture, right? On a dark and stormy background, three dull, gloomy orbs form a trinity in the sky. To the left, dark skies and clouds threaten a rainstorm. But on the right, on the horizon, the sun shines through. A fierce bolt of lightning, symbol of illumination, shoots down from the heavens, striking two opposing orbs and surrounding the third, which sits lower on the horizon. This is a problematic card filled with the obscurities of the mind's own illusions. Through the dark hour of the soul, when all appears to be dim and the mind's eye is clouded to the vision of the higher purpose of difficult or painful experiences of life, the light of understanding is within your grasp. I'm going to read that again because that line is a crux point. Through the dark hour of the soul, when all appears to be dim and the mind's eye is clouded to the vision of the higher purpose of difficult or painful experiences of life, the light of understanding is within your grasp. Divine wisdom is laced through experience. When we are able to fully understand that where there is darkness, there too is light, we begin to transmute the suffering into a learning experience. This card invites us to conquer the mind's focus on pain and loss and look to the light where we can transform our thoughts into acceptance and forward motion. Questions to ask yourself. What new element is taking shape in your mind and stirring you emotionally? What core beliefs or convictions have to be let go of in order to allow the possibility of a whole new paradigm to come forward for you? These are great for journal prompts as well. What is being added to your perception that allows you to form new ideas? How can you accept the pain of your loss and learn from it as a process of your soul's progression? And what new insights have you gained from that process? Wow, that's, wow. I, I, is that good, B? Is that real good? I got emotional. Wow. I'm sorry. Did that, did that work for you, though? Yeah, I, good, I, I, good. I I got I um I, I can't say anything. It's okay. Yeah, but you but you got you got an important message. That's great. Do you feel okay about it? I just wanna Yeah. Do you wanna pull another card? No. I want I wanna um, And I don't mean to negate it, I just mean to clarify because I hear positivity in that. No, I, I, I see I I, I see you want, it. Okay, yeah, I, okay, I it. okay. I just yeah. want to leave you on yeah. a bad it is no, a heavy no. card. There's no, no question it's, it's a heavy, heavy. card, but try? there's there's positivity in sure, there. Sure, sure, sure. But yeah. I, I wanna tell you that um your voice would be ideal for, um, you know, uh, e-books. Oh, my you. God, you got a beautiful it's, it's voice. It's in my future. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you're I like, you're like, 
And the rabbit went down and I know, came down yeah, to the yeah, breath. Your voice is so beautiful. It's so cool. It's got such a. It, you, put, you. you put um, you put Siri to like uh, you know you you oh, up and up with Siri. Oh, thank you, thank you. And, then, and, and your then. flute playing is really nice as well. And Arlie made it down to the beach, and he saw it was a beautiful sunny day. Arlie made it down to the beach, and he saw that it was a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We got to do something like that. I'm in. I'm in. Man, your I'm voice in. is like incredible Thank for you. for Thank um you. this kind of things and uh, stories, you know. I've wanted to for a long time. Cool. Okay. But I've been let, waiting for the right whatever it is to happen. To let, let let's uh, meditate on I'm going to meditate on yeah, that I'm because in. um I like to do. Okay, so how do we do it? Should I move there? You can. Sure. Okay. Sure. I'm just going to clear the Clear Brian's energy there. Yeah, sure. And that's, you know, I have other oracle decks. Like huh. I have a, and it, this may sound a little froofy, and, and maybe it is, but I have like a, a mermaid dolphin deck, uh -huh. right, where like every single message is just positive. So oh. if you pull a card out of that deck, it's like, don't forget, the sun is shining on your meadow, you know, or whatever. It's like every right. single one. But sometimes yeah. you're like, come on, let's get real. Yeah, yeah. You know, like yeah. I want to, I'm not afraid of seeing sure. where I'm at or yeah. like what message I need to but, receive. But it'd be fun for, for the kids. Like, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah. It's light. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. let me grab this. Yeah. Kibi, you can stay in my, my chair for a second. Oh, you want? Okay. <laughs> see. I don't even know what to. Um, everything's just so perfect in my life right now. That's lovely. I'm so glad to hear that. Um, you could just see what the the, the uh, cards. Oh no! Are. How about a project that I'm working on? Okay, yeah, okay, do okay. it. Okay, so I'm I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it out loud. Okay. Um, I've um, finished my fourth Kalele album. Oh. And Congratulations. I, thank you. And yeah. I just um, finished uploading the wave files to this company that's going to manufacture the CDs. And I just want to know how the, um, how the album's going to do as far as sales. Mm. And, uh, you know, so more of a business quest question. Okay. Yeah. The trajectory. The yeah, like, yeah. Do you want to do you want to put a time quantifier on that? Because that's a, I mean, like, how is it going to do in sales for the rest of your life? How oh, is it going to do in sales for in like the, the first six months, three months, one month? Let, let's try the the first six months. First six okay, months. Okay. Yeah. All right. So first you go six. ahead and you go ahead and choose whichever card you want. Oh, okay. I'm gonna okay. choose. Let's see. See, see how they stick like that, and they <laughs> pick that one. I'm gonna go and seek one. Doesn't want to do <laughs> that one right there. Okay. Ooh. Oh, what's that? Hmm. You take a look at that. Tell me how it makes you feel before I read the meaning out of the book. Okay, we're dealing we're dealing with emotions and water, right? Why can't or I hear you? Oh, we're we're dealing with. Uh, this says a depth of orbs. Yeah, so we are dealing with water and emotions and relations. We got the orbs on again. Yeah. Well, we're orbing out today, yeah, this huh? Is <laughs> this is the adept of orbs. Oh, okay. So, so, my question was more like business question. I know. But what I'm telling you is that it, before I even look in the book, uh -huh. so first of all, you're going to achieve really great emotional satisfaction from what happens, Ooh, okay? Because okay. this is one of the, the higher cards in, in, that, uh, in that suit, right? Oh, cool. So you do all the numbers first, and then you get um, the adept and the sage and the king, like that. Uh -huh. So this is a more advanced card in in the suit of orbs. So it is you may do well business wise, but your joy uh -huh. is going to be your focus. Okay, and so let me read to you about the adept because joy. Yeah, absolutely. Sweet. Let me read you about the adept. Okay. <clears throat> Get my my voice on here for you. Yes, please do. <laughs> do the voice. Do the voice. Do the voice. <laughs> You got it. All right. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. All right. I made a mistake. Huh? I made a mistake. Oh, okay. And, I, and I'm going to just freely admit that. Okay. Um, the orbs yeah. have to do with air. Okay. Air. I thought the orbs were water. Okay. Don't ask me why. Okay. But I still think you're going to be happy. Okay. Um, and now I feel silly that I did that. But I'm used to using the, the, other, uh, the other deck. So, so what's the difference? So air. swords or air is your um, intellectual property, your oh. ideas, your thoughts, your feelings. Oh, oh, okay? okay, okay. So, <clears throat> um, 
The suit of orbs reflects thought and the mental body. It embodies the experience of communicating those thoughts to others and explores the challenges the mind creates. Within each orb is held an aspect or perception that is the product of one's own thought processes. These can be clear and illuminating, serving to resolve and overcome the problems the mind creates, but they could also be clouded and self-defeating or even destructive. The seeker is determined to understand, the seeker in the card, is that actually being shown, um, how his or her awareness or illusions affect the process of the soul's journey. He desires to raise the energies of each step along that path to a higher understanding of the self and the reality that's unfolding along the way. To be in one's right mind, a key to the Buddhist path to enlightenment, is to unlock one of the greatest treasure chests of experience in the journey through the physical lifetime. So, <clears throat> while that may not sound like it relates to business, what I see here is clarity of thought. I see clarity of mind. I see um, achievement. I mean, you can't deny that this is an achieving card because it's in the courts, uh, the court cards. So, it, it, there's clarity ahead. Okay, well, yeah. so, so more... Um Okay, that's cool. Yeah, like I would say more mental satisfaction than... Uh -huh. Yeah, and I misperceived it as being the suit of oh, okay. uh, chalices, which is... Th this deck is a little new to me, I'll be honest. This okay. deck is a little bit new, um, but it's a, it's a positive card. Yeah, it, it, it's satisfying to kind of... It's almost like I'm, I'm ready, like I'm done because I've been working so long on yeah. this one that I want to move on to the next right. project. And you're, you, you, that's the thing about the, the progression of the cards is you're going... The ace is a new endeavor. When you start the ace, it's like, ding, a new relationship, a new job, mm. a new project, mm. a new endeavor. You're done with this project. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's why you're at the adept. Okay. So now, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get all the way to the top, then you're going to start another project. Yeah. You're going to go back to the ace. Yeah. Right? So cool. this is this is confirming the, the clarity and the, the power of the end of this journey for you. And as far as success, I can't see it doing bad with a card this good. So. How, how fun. <laughs> hey, you want to you do one fun one for, uh, for the riff? Mm -hmm. For what we're doing here, yeah, let's do one for the, the show, riff. or I'll pull one. Oh yeah, okay, you point for us for for the the show, the riff, yeah. and uh, that's kind of like uh, be in minds uh, our our little uh, contribution to yes. community and people, yes. and um, you know just doing something fun. Yes, to include whoever we whoever he runs into, right? Whoever I do. <laughs> so this is this is. Um, I want to say something, too, about um, my misperception of the suit and why it doesn't matter. Um, oracular ability doesn't really rely on tools. It seems to rely on tools, but it doesn't. I'll give you a quick funny story to tell you why. So in addition to um, costume character work uh, for corporate and private parties, one of the things that the re the how I got into costume character work for corporate and private parties was fortune telling in a gypsy costume in San Francisco 20-something years ago. However, it expanded quickly, and they wanted me to wear different costumes and do different types of fortune telling that, like, were, um, they were for, uh, you know, like... Egyptian or no, maybe... No, 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 I mean, I, what's the... No, like, really, literally, entertainment purposes only. Like, like fake, totally made up. Yeah. Like, I was dressed as a, you know, a voodoo woman from, you know, New Orleans, and I made up this system. I got, I got a bag, and I put some rubber snakes and some rubber uh, spiders and some uh, chicken bones. And I thought, okay, there's no way I'm going to offend anybody with my readings if I'm just, like, being a silly character. Right, and, like, yeah, right. you know, and my job at that gig was to, like, hold the bag and, like, shake it and go, la, 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 like, make yeah. all these noises and then throw them on the floor and have, like, everyone standing around and, the oh, what's she going to say? And then I would fake going into a trance, right? I'm acting, right? And then I would, like, <laughs> call out what I see on the floor. Yeah. You know, I am not trying to do a reading. I am really not. Like, yeah. I do not. This is the total entertainment, like, joke gig, like, yeah. Not at all something serious. So I've got this big group of people gathered around me. I throw the thing. I throw the bones down. And I'm doing this for a couple. And I look. And I, I just, it looks like there's a bunch of dogs. Like, it just looks like a bunch of, like, four-legged stick figures, right? And I was like, I see dogs. And the guy looks at his wife. She looks at him. She goes, F you. Huh? She stomps out. And he looks at me and he goes, F you. And to me. Uh -huh. and, and he's like, why'd you have to bring up the dogs? 
And I said, oh, my God. And I broke character immediately, yeah. right? And I said, sir, I'm so sorry that I've upset you. This is meant to be for entertainment purposes only. I'm, I'm a character. This is just a, you know, it's just for fun. And he goes, it ain't fun. I've got 12 dogs and she hates them all. Why did you have to bring that into this? And he, he stomped off. F you. And he stomped uh, off. And I was just, and all the people were like, what? And I was just like, I am so sorry. I'll be right back. And I went to my agent and I was like, what the? I'm I, so sorry. Like, I did not mean to do that. Like, How do I continue? Yeah. It wasn't even real. It was a joke. How do you be? So that's why I'm saying that, like, no matter what I, what I, what, what the card that I made the wrong suit, right. I still think you're going to be really happy. Check with me in six months and tell me you're not clear and happy mentally. I think. Oh no, I, I, I'm, so. I'm just thrilled to the death that it's it's done. You know, and yeah. I'm finished with the project. I can't so. wait to hear it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you will. You get a couple. So that's my funny story about um, you know fortune telling when you're not even trying. So I'm going to pull a card for the riff. The riff. The riff. The riff why look. Oh, you wanted Merlin. Here's your Merlin card. Oh. Here, take that and take a look at it. Wow, that's cool. Look yeah. at that. Reason. Oh. So. Let's what, read to you about it. Yeah, what is Merlin telling us? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> it's one of the main cards in the deck. It's kind of cool looking. It's the fourth card in the deck. Okay, this one's a little bit longer. Are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> the energy of the good father who brings order and structure to the dynamic energies of the goddess's creative force. He is her complement rather than her polar opposite. To her artistic design, he brings structure. To her unrestrained imagination, he brings reason. To chaos, he brings order. Here is a figure of noteworthy authority. Seated on his throne, he is clearly one to go for the last word, father to the child and ruler to the kingdom. In his exalted state, he is solid, powerful, and yet wise and yielding. Above his head, the five platonic solids appear, holograms of his reasoning logical mind. These are the fundamental forms of sacred geometry. Reason contemplates bringing structure to the creative flow of imagination and being grounded in reality. Yet, for all his conviction as to the ordering of the universe, he holds a talisman like a pendulum in his hand, symbol of his vulnerability on one hand and his allowing for possibilities beyond his own rationale on the other. So I would say right there, a key of that is being open to things that you're not expecting because there's going to be good things that you couldn't have planned. Mm -hmm. um, even though you're going to be well situated in like ch 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 making things happen, there's going to be things coming in from the side that are outside of your 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 knowingness and that are going to surprise you. When reason appears in your process, the question arises as to how you are either lacking or bringing structure into your life. This key is a teacher to the impulsive child, the kind and loving aspect of the male authority figure who can be that voice within you. It is the reasoning, logical mind seeking to give the impulsive, creative flow a structure within which to manifest reality. So when this key appears in the reading, ask yourself, how are you exercising reason in your current situation? How do you discipline yourself to bring structure to your vision? What aspect of your life do you need control over? <laughs> and I want to just say that this, this tells me, number one, you have your stuff together and number two you're going to continue creating a, a new foundation and a new structure for where the riff is going to is going to go jeff that's awesome tell, tell yeah me about. And let's, let's switch back yeah switch back. jeff okay. yeah well thank you yes that was so sweet of you yeah you got the emperor card there emperor card for the riff so um we're gonna need to get close to we gotta wrap it up we gotta soon. wrap it up. Can I just toss you some more gifts then? Yeah. And then all my props are done. Please do. <laughs> Thank you both, by the way, for allowing oh, me to, to share Oh, mahalo, Serena. Yes. I, yeah, I love that. Together it's going to so be great. When we're together. really looking forward to um, participating in your um, Aroma Sound Healing yes. Experience. Now, this one right here, this flyer that I'm looking at says Friday, November 19th. Correct. This is the, um, normally I'm going to be doing Thursday nights, like I mentioned before. Mm -hmm. But this one is on a full moon and lunar eclipse. So uh, I will be doing a two-hour one once a month, maybe more if I get a very popular, uh, for the full moon. And this one happens to be next Friday. So this one will be the same as uh, structure as the Thursday night ones, except there's an additional hour of movement and dance afterwards. That's great because um, 
what a great thing to dance under right. the full moon, right? Well, we'll be inside. Yeah, but, but yeah, we're it's still right on, there. We yeah. actually that that spot right there uh-huh. up by the trilogy warehouses. You see the the moon rise, and by the time we come out, the moon will be rising. It'll Very be beautiful. cool. Yeah. So it says limited space. How how much how much um people are. There are going to be the lucky ones um, too. Well, there are 18 spots in total, okay. maxed out completely, and I already have eight seats sold. So there are 10 spots left for this and coming Friday. I give you the digital version. Yeah, and then. Um, yep, and then I yeah. have my phone number on there because I need to give people the address. The reason I'm not putting the address on the flyer is I don't want people showing up at the door the day of. Right, right, smart. <laughs> Even you know, yeah. I just, that's that's not. It, it'll be too much. Yeah. We will have to turn people away. And oh, I don't oh want yeah, to yeah, move. that's true. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. Um, well, we'll talk about it when when we get our chance to go. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. 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 December second okay. or ninth or whatever. Any any Thursday, you guys want to come for sure. Okay. So I got one more gift uh, for you. So both of you must know either someone female. No, not that it has to be females, but someone female or somebody with kids, right? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna gift you both each um, one of my eco glitter. Oh. Uh, oh gel thank kits. you. Yeah. 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 And let me actually show you what's in there. Oh, wow, first this is such a what it is. <laughs> cool looking gift bag. <laughs> Thank you. This is this is an expression of my art. This is all my work. Um, well, the colors. The, the shortest the shortest story in the world here because we could go on another hour about this. Oh yeah, for um, sure. I have been a lifelong entertainer. I've been a children's face painter for over 25 years, which I've recently retired from. I, I will not. I cannot. It's. I'm done. Done with that. <laughs> done, done. Done with that project. Yeah. COVID stopped all of it, <laughs> and I was like, oh, actually, I, this, there's other things I'd like to be focusing on. Yeah. Like people's health and well-being is more important yeah, to me now. But as an as an entertainer and um, performer and face painter for all those years, I use a lot of glitter, right? Mm-hmm. Well, I didn't really realize glitter was made of plastic. Okay. Where's that other mic drop? Yeah. Right? It's made of microplastic that never goes away. Oh, I thought it was made out of like paper or something. No, like you, want, you want to know how it's made? So you have a sheet of plastic, and then they use a chemical binder to bind the aluminum for the shine and the color, and then they cut oh, it into tiny hexagons. Tiny pieces. Okay. Bio glitter, which is what we're looking at here, mm-hmm. is a registered trademark uh, for the only company in the world, they happen to be in England, who manufactures a truly biodegradable glitter. Um, it's made with the core of cellulose, eucalyptus cellulose, in fact. Oh, cool. So it's got a t- renewable resource tree fiber core, and there's no plastic in the binder. So if you put this in ocean water, it fizzes up and goes away. If it's certified biodegradable to not d- uh, hurt the land or the water, oh. and it's certified in the EU and the, uh, by the FDA to biodegrade within six months in a natural environment. So there's no plastic involved at all. Um, it's completely safe for cosmetic use. And... Um, so what I've given you guys here to give away, that these are like little Aloha souvenir gift items that are like wishing dust bottles. There's a little note inside that says Aloha, and these are just super cute to put in stocking stuffers or give away to friends. Wow. And, um, I'm telling I'm telling all the kids to make a wish. I got new cards for the inside oh that says make goodness, a wish. Look at this. It's cute, right? It is. Yeah. And so, but this, uh, the gel kit, a lot of people like to put glitter on when they go out to a party or Halloween or for any reason, right? And so... What I found was that um, people really loved the glitter gel that I was making. I'm showing you what's in your bag. People what do you mean? You're making this yourself? What? You're making this, making it? No, the company makes the glitter. I buy it 100 kilos at a time. Wow. So I have a very large selection of various colors and sizes of glitter. I mean, like a kilo of glitter is like this. It's like a small baby, man. Wow. Wow. I, I'd never seen a kilo of anything before. Maybe you have, but yeah. uh, I had <laughs> not. And uh, it's, it's significant when you're only using a pinch like that's so small. Like I have some some things that are just like not even hardly gone down. But here's the thing, with the um, so I take the glitter and I make the products right. So I buy the vials, I mix the colors, um, I do all the. Uh, I mean, I did the graphic design on the. This wow. is so yeah, cool. The product like creation it. and everything is is me. Um, <clears throat> but the the glitter gel was what everybody really really loved the most. But what was happening was, I was putting it in airtight containers, and in about five months, it was turning into this weird sludge because oh. it's biodegradable. So I put it in other containers that weren't airtight, and it would dry out and become hard. So now you can have a DIY glitter gel kit, <laughs> and this is how it works. It's so easy. This is an aloe vera gel base, and you can use your finger or you can use the um, the thing. And you just put a little bit, say you want to put it here on your cheek, uh-huh. or you want to put it on your hand. And then you just get a little bit of this glitter out. You tap it on. Now, you could pre-mix this if you want to and stir it all up and have your own glitter gel, but this is a really easy way. Because you put it where you want, yeah. Yeah, you just put it where you want. 
You know, and then the aloe vera gel huh. makes it stick. So now you got glitter gel. Oh, cool. Or if you had uh, lotion on, then you could pour a little bit of it in your hands, do this, and put it all over wow. yourself when you're going out for a fancy dinner or a party or something. And then you've got glitter everywhere. New Year's, I'm going to be all glittered out. Yeah, this How is cool. T- is yeah, this? Yeah. And, and the cool thing is so. It uh, and it that's rinses off easy. Yeah, and it, and it's not damaging to the environment. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, yeah, or you. Wow. Yeah, and it's softer than Bravo. polyester glitter too. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that is awesome. These are like just the coolest things. You've thank, got. You, yeah. thank you. Thank you. I, I mean, like I sell bulk. I sell bulk glitter also to people who do soap making and things like that. But my my heart is in these these sweet little products, you know, that are already. So how are you? I mean, I I love this by the way. Yeah, thank you. And how are people to? to get these other than you know mermaidmagicglitter.com mermaidmagicglitter.com yep. okay. Magic or uh, and when they go to mermaidmagicglitter.com um, it has a list of all the retail sites here on island okay uh, but cafe cafe yeah. carries it choice carries it um Jammin' on Maui carries it. There's, there's like nine or ten locations I love Jammin' on Maui yeah that's I'm going to deliver to them after I leave here okay cool <laughs> so um that's great info and if you could um I'll talk to you later sure. about but but um, is there any anything before we, we sign up? No, man. This is, uh, this is a fun-filled, knowledgeable, <laughs> so much knowledge we've got. This now, is going to take me time to edit because <laughs> this is the longest show we've done. This is a done. freaking tip yeah. of the iceberg. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but now that we've broken it open, we yeah, can like, pick yeah, topics. Yeah, slice it like, now. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Serena, thank you so thank much you. for being on. Music, the magic, riff. and mermaids, and beauty, beauty everything. <laughs> and health. Yes. But, but be, before you t- sign off, how, how did you guys um, uh, meet? Cafe, cafe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Brother Dave, Brother Jesse. You know, Jesse. there is Thank one you. thing I didn't say. That can, can I take another one minute yeah, yeah, and yeah, say go. something? You Absolutely. can insert this wherever mm-hmm. you want. I want to give myself some credibility here. Mm-hmm. And you might ask yourself, well, okay, so you said you were sick, so you started getting healthy then, or you started studying oils when you were younger. But what's the, what's the real reason that I'm sitting here right now, alive on purpose, which is actually the name of my future podcast that I want to make? Ooh. Why am I alive on purpose? Why did I bring this diffuser today? Why do I care about sharing sulfurzyme powder with you? Why am I interested in helping you raise your vibe? I'm a lifelong trauma survivor. I was born in a traumatic situation, and I had, and I won't go into the details, a lot of traumatic experiences in my life. I've also been very, very ill with disease. And when I've also had multiple near-death experiences, I went over a cliff. Um, I'm a suicide survivor. There's a lot has happened to me in my life. And it's brought me to this point of realizing of what's important. Being alive is important. Being alive well is important. Being in my body, not just going around like a robot in a shell of a body from one addiction to another. Mm. You know, but actually waking up and becoming conscious to like (laughs) how we can live a more gentle and peaceful and loving life for ourselves, for those we meet and connect with, and also for the environment. And the reason I'm so passionate about helping other people is because of where I've come from, you know, and and how dark my past was and how painful my past was. And and these are the tools that I've used to bring myself into this place. Incredible. And that's why I want to share it. It's not just like, oh, I decided to make a living and I'm doing this and I'm reading cards and I'm sniffing oils. No, it's it's deep. Yeah. Yeah, And and it is your tools and uh, you use them very well. Thank you. And uh, the goal is to you know, help people. People heal. Yeah. And um, I think that's a beautiful thing. What about you, B? Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm so honored to be here. Yeah, and until the next time that we were together again, I just want to sign off with. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Mahalo. Mahalo, bra. Uh, okay. Thank you. Guys, have a nice day out there. Woo-hoo, Aloha, everybody. Aloha. Yeah. Woo.